Okay. We're about to uh, go live and build this fucking thing. Hey, musical gamer, how you doing? Um, I'm still, I'm still sick from uh, from my COVID booster. But you know what? Hey, we might as well, we might as well try. Hey, Juge, what's good, bud? Oh boy. <laughs> I, 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 like, I thought that it wasn't that bad, you know? Like, I thought that I wouldn't need to, um, because I got the, I got the, I got the first COVID shot, and that, uh, and that, uh, it didn't really fuck me up a whole lot. I mean, I did get sick from it, that's just how it works, but, um, I got super messed up from this booster for some reason. I don't even know why. Ugh, sucks. But anyway, we're here. We we smear and and we're and we're and we're here to build a goddamn keyboard. Um. Okay. So what we're building today is uh, an Idobao ID87 V2. It's got an all aluminum build. It's got an acrylic bottom with a brass weight. My focus is fucked up there we go it's got an acrylic bottom with a brass weight on the back uh integrated plate which is a little bit poopy but hey that's 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 fine for my first build and for the switches i got new stabilizers so we're gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna take up the majority of this stream is we're gonna be tuning stabilizers but uh for the switch today we've got uh come on focus come on are you gonna there we go We've got TTC bluish white tactile switches. Maybe if the focus could actually work. Um, yeah, I, I like these. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. Um, I got a little keypad, a little key switch tester down here. Let me grab it right here. And it had a bunch of tactiles on it. And the one that I liked the most was the TTC bluish. Well, actually, that's not true. The ones I liked the most were the Xylent switches. But uh, no way in hell am I paying that much for Xylents. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you didn't bring it in a bowl? Mm -hmm. What? Okay, well, whatever. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got dinner now. Anyway. Things are going to go... Pretty slow today because um, I am sick still, <laughs> and I'm not gonna try to uh, eat spaghetti and build a keyboard. At the, it, like eat spaghetti in one hand and then build a keyboard in the other. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to ruin this very nice white finishing on this keyboard. But you know, I'll snack on it occasionally, and I will. Uh, a little bit of commentary on you know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it that looks lovely what the spaghetti or the keyboard because <laughs> the keyboard I, I like I like the keyboard a lot there are things about it I wish I could change but it really isn't that big of a deal this is my first build and I do want to build more keyboards at some point so you know well uh that'll be a thing later Sag it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good spaghetti. Very simple. Just get some just get some pre-made pasta sauce. Cook up like some sausage or something, and then mix the pasta sauce in there. And then throw the whole thing. Then some cooked like, spaghetti is the easiest fucking shit you can possibly make, right? Oh boy. Okay, so. Yes, uh, like I said, the is the music too loud? By the way, um, if anybody in chat, uh, if if the music's too loud, please let me know. I will change it. If it's too quiet, I will turn it up. I tried to get something relatively smooth today, so I got a I got a smooth and jazzy Nintendo music playlist going. Uh, so yes, let's just uh, get started. Nay, all right, cool. Let's just uh, get started, and we will uh, unscrew the brass weight. So, um, nice. Oh, shit! I just realized. Uh oh. Let me. 
There you go. That's why the... That's why this shit wasn't... Can I replay it? Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Can't replay the alert, but uh, thank you, uh, Mag of Odasim. Okay, I don't know what that is, but who cares? Thanks for the follow. I do appreciate it. I see you like my, uh, I see you like my stuff on Twitter. So, uh, welcome. Welcome from Twitter to, uh, this garbage. I promise you this is better than whatever I do on Twitter, <laughs> which is nothing. Hey, Dad. We are building keyboard today, and it will finally be done. Because I was talking to my dad last night during dinner, and he was telling me that, uh, it's been, like, a month. Why isn't your keyboard built? Uh, hmm. First time catching up on the streams. Hey, what's up? I appreciate you joining in. When you're building me one? Well, you can tell me what you want for your keyboard. Here, you know what? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna drag you in here. Hey! Alright, his mic's muted, but that's fine. Um, tell me what you want on a fucking keyboard. I'll find something for you. Like, no lie. Um, I do want to, uh, build keyboards for people. That sounds like a really fun thing to do. So, hey. I guess I'll do commissions for keyboards. <laughs> I can't do a whole lot of them, you know, but, you know. I think that'd be fun. It would give me, it would give me more stuff to do for streams and videos and stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds fun till you start lubing switches, then you'll know hell. Yeah, no. Okay. So here's the thing about the lube, about the uh, switch lube. I do have my lube right here, as we will be tuning up my stabilizers and replacing the ones that came with this one, because they're garbage. I'm suppressed. Oh, you can't talk in here? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. That was weird. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so I took these uh, TTCs and I was thinking like, well, I should just lube these off stream and uh, make them as smooth as possible, right? They're tactiles, so you don't really need to lube them. Um, but the thing is, these came with factory lube on them, which normally isn't the best, and I understand that. But I lubed one of these switches and then compared the sound of both of them like in my ears, and I really couldn't tell the difference. So, um, I'm just gonna skip lubing this time, but I do know that, uh, when a friend of mine, a, a friend of mine, uh, does want me to build a keyboard for him, and, uh, he wants those, uh, C3 Kiwis, if you know what those are. And, uh, that's, I'm, ge I'm gonna need to lube and film all those switches. So, oh well. Oh well. I'll just do that off stream. Kiwis are nice. Hell yeah, they are. Uh, fun, uh, fun story. Um, I'm not gonna go into specifics because, you know, that would be bad. <laughs> but, um, this friend's job requires him to make, uh, house visits. Like, to visit people's houses. I like the fruit. Hey, Orpheus, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Um, uh, this friend of mine, he visits, uh, people's houses to do his job, right? He's, like, a technical worker, and he goes in and repairs stuff at people's houses. And when he um, visited this guy's house, turns out he's one of the owners of the key company. Or, like, he runs the website or whatever. And so, uh, for his gratitude of helping him fix his problems, he gave him a few uh, switches and I think a few keycaps. Hey, Derek, how you doing? Um, and, uh, yeah, he, uh, what's it called? He, uh, the, the key company guy gave him, uh, a, I think it was a kiwi switch, a banana split, and I think a dragon fruit. And he just decided that he wanted the kiwis, so we're gonna go with that. Like a drug dealer giving a free trial, Lamau, yeah. Um, for his build, I think we're gonna go with the GMMK Pro, just because it's a nice quality keyboard but it's not exactly the most um, expensive option, you know? The, the funny thing is, I told, I told this friend that um, uh, I could build him a keyboard for 130 bucks and, you know, add on the, um, add on the uh, cost of my labor and everything, but I could build him a keyboard for 100, uh, 130 bucks. And uh, after we were talking about it, he imme it, like, it immediately doubled in price. 
we immediately went up to the three hundred dollar range, and it's it's fucking hilarious how easy you can you can skyrocket. This hit is free, kid. The next one's gonna cost you exactly. It's hilarious how much prices can skyrocket for custom keyboards. Um, yes. So, if you don't know anything about Idobel boards, the included stabilizers are awful, and you never want to use them. Um, so, what I did was I got these uh, genuine cherry uh, screw-in stabs, and this is what I'm going to use for my board. Uh... I, uh, I already built this board. Crack it over the knee. No. I'll give you 25. You want to pay me the 200 fucking dollars it costs to buy this fucking board? No. Oh, dude, you got to test the durability on that bitch. No, <laughs> I'm not testing anything. But anyway, well, uh, we'll do a full sound test when the keyboard's actually built. I already, off stream earlier today. Hi, Derek. Off stream earlier today. Uh, I can't call like a school child. If you want to fucking buy this board, you can't actually buy this board again. Make a waterproofness test. There you go. Um, I already, I already tuned this stabilizer. I put some lube in it. Yeah, there we go. I lubed it, lubed the wire, lubed the housing, everything, screwed it in. And yeah, it is, it is a gigantic upgrade. These cherry stabs over the, the default ones. So. We're going to, uh, most of the stream is going to be dedicated to tuning these stabs. So, you know. I think this is going to take me a couple hours, maybe. You know? I take my time on this stuff, obviously. Uh, how you doing today, Derek? Well. Well. I'm doing nothing. Cool. I was doing nothing today because I was fucking miserable. I get my booster next week. Huh. You better take a couple days. I'm not a bitch, though. Okay. No, I'm joking. I'm okay. Joking. I see. I see how it is. <laughs> I nah, didn't expect I to get this fucked up. I got, I got a schedule for Thursday morning, and I'm off for Friday and Saturday, so. There you go. Sounds mm. like a pain. And then I'm off to seven. We're apparently off to 17th, too, so. Really? Why is that? It's Martin Luther King Day. Oh! Cool. Anyway, we need this wire. We need uh, this one. This is going to be a very slow, probably a very boring stream. So if you're down for that, welcome. Came, I came here for exciting content. There's no such thing as exciting when it comes to building keyboards. I'm sorry to say. What if it explodes? Like, is there like any like sense of like urgency to no. I can manufacture urgency for a video. The only way that would happen is if you were actually soldering the damn things to the board. <laughs> yeah, I specifically went with a hot swap board just so I wouldn't have to solder anything. Thankfully, you know, I can skip out on all that garbage. I don't got to worry about it. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six. There's this artist I follow on Twitter. Oh and, no! And they just they just moved into their own apartment. Mm. And they tweeted out an image. It's literally an empty room with like a mattress and, <laughs> and, and with a small pink Among Us plushie. They said, "Well, Among Us is just you and me now." Oh no! No, that's bad. What did they move down their own, and all they've got is a bed? R slash male living spaces. That's exactly what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Just gonna lay out all of our garbage. And I realize that these stabs need to be clipped, so I will do that right now. For those of you who don't know anything about keyboards, I understand. But uh, what, what, we, um, what we do is you see... So each... Oh, God, can you... Okay, so each stabilizer has these little legs on the bottom. Maybe if you could fucking focus on it. There we go. Uh, you see how those legs, like, protrude out a little bit? And they got, like, those teeth on the bottom? Uh, we don't want those, as those teeth make the stabilizer feel mushy when you press down on them. And you want it to be nice and flat. 
So that's what I'm going to do right now with these disgusting nail clippers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? I agree with you there. A spaghetti. My specialty. There you go. All right. There you go. Nice and flat stabili uh, stabilizer uh, stem. And that's exactly what we need to do for all of these down here. <laughs> I'm sick too. Yeah, yeah, he got because we went and got our, our uh, boosters at the same time. He also signed us up for the for the um, flu shot, so we also got that. Both at the same time. Yeah. Don't they like have like some words about doing that? I don't know, man. The fucking pharmacist didn't tell us anything. What are they going to do? Take it away from you? Yeah, they're just going to take it out. <laughs> cooking stream? I'm down to do a cooking stream, unironically. Like, that sounds like fun. That might be hilarious, honestly. I won't watch you Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Like, he'd be Richard in the kitchen. Because <laughs> that's his name. Oh, did I dox my dad? Oops. Oh, well. We all know that I'm, I'm very capable of toxic people. This is true. This is true. Oh, yeah, and my dad got his allergy shots uh, the same day as when we got the Ooh. COVID and the... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so he was just a fucking pincushion the other day. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, 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 stabs. Depending on the type of allergy shot, typically that's two injections right there. I don't know how many... Uh, how many injections he got, but apparently it's a lot. He goes in for those things like once a fucking week or something. What is that? Why'd you post a link in my chat? <laughs> I'm clicking it. Oh Dad, man. you can't post oh, that. People are gonna think you're a Republican. <laughs> Fucking damn it! It's funny. Norm canceled. Normally, normally when, normally when, uh, in like a father-son relationship, it's usually the father who is railing, it, reigning in the autism of the son. But no, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the opposite in a lot of these cases. I have to rein in my dad's autism. Mm, I think it might be a more of an equalizing effect. <laughs> Two autisms okay. equals one good one. <laughs> there you go. That that makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. All right. So now we got them all clipped. Now we must lube them. So the lube I'm going to be using today, obviously the one that everybody fucking uses, Crytox 205 grade zero. It's not actually Crytox, but it's it's 205 grade zero. Um, that's the one that everybody fucking uses. I just found that on Amazon. Um, yeah, I know you shouldn't buy fucking things on Amazon, but whatever. I don't I don't give a shit get Abby and we'll have a three-peat. <sighs> yeah, I gotta rein in her autism most of the time, too. I'm gonna take another bite of my spaghetti. 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 Mm, spaghetti. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Y'all remember that one? Y'all remember YouTube poops back in the day? YouTube shits. Mm-hmm. That's really YouTube my favorite YouTube Taco Bell wings. Oh. <laughs> it sounds awful. Yeah, Taco Bell's serving chicken wings now. It's disgusting. Like, unironically, though, apparently Taco Bell, like, and this, and this is in regards to fast food when I say this, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Taco Bell is one of the healthier fast food places to eat at. So, if you're going to eat half food, yeah. eat fast food, and you've got to pick something. Ugh. Nancy Pelosi plays a single matches Doomfist in honor of Black Lives Matter. Okay. I was learning Arch today. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Little Tomos comes out of uh, comes out of the uh, out of the ether to ask about Arch. <laughs> I mean, this stream is labeled as a Linux stream because I am streaming on Linux, so it's accurate. Someone commented on Linux, and the Linux user had to say something. The Linux user had to I literally just joined, lol. <laughs> That's funny. You've been, you were summoned by that question. You were summoned by the arch. 
Anyway. There's a giant arch in your backyard. Ugh. That sounds awful. If you don't know how it got there, it's just there. Alright, so... Uh, how you lube a stabilizer is you take a little bit of lube and you, and you, and you brush it on the inside of this uh, housing right here. And you, uh, you brush the inside of the walls here. Because the point of the lube is you want to remove friction. You make me sad now. I'm going to go snuggle my Archchan pillow. Don't bring up Archchan! I already had a discussion with another fucking Arch user in my server earlier today. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with... What is wrong with you people? I don't know. You're among us. Shut up! Give it... I'd like to... Don't say I'd that like... word! I want to know, know about Archchan. Someone explain Archchan to me. It's literally just Linux waifu. What about the Windows wife? Yeah, okay. like the one that steals all your money. Yeah, she shows up, beats you up. You're her fucking uh, dirty little pay pig. Ow. <laughs> you know what that is, Derek? That was me. Oh my god. Oh! Really? Okay. I'm sorry, your names don't match up on uh, on Discord and, and Twitch. Uh... They really don't. <laughs> Wait, what? Who was that? That's, That's uh, uh, Alex. The new feller. The new feller. Oh. The idiot oh. with money. Okay. That person. Yes. Oh god, my Destiny bolt's full again. Why are you playing Destiny still? Because I actually like the game. How, uh, how dare you? Because Bungie. That's why. Because big number go up, give me serotonin. Bungie doesn't exist anymore the way that it existed before. That's true. So don't even bother. You don't want to play Marathon? I said before I don't use Twitch, just found my old account. All right, then. Nice. Nice. Outlaw Headstone. Okay. Welcome to the stream of me uh, just randomly saying keyboard shit and then Derek saying Destiny shit and Musical Gamer saying probably something about Monster Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Just a random commentary. And I had a discussion with my friends the other day. They started playing Monster Hunter World again. I was like, oh boy. motherfucker didn't even fucking notify me. I was like, the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, here's a fun tool that you use to build keyboards. Look at this. Look at this little number. You get this, and then you press it, and it goes, ah. Okay, well, maybe if like you could focus. It goes, ah. Oh, fuck. Come on. Ah. Uh, and, and 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 you grab, you do a little big grabby. Ah, fuck. There you go. And you use that to grab the stabilizer stem, or the key switch stem, whatever whatever you're lubing. And this is what we do. We lube the sides of the stabilizer stem, this side and this side, because we want to remove that friction. And uh, the purpose of this is to remove the rattle of the uh, stabilizers. Um, if you want to know what that sounds like, if you have a mechanical keyboard right now and you didn't build it yourself or it's not custom, just mash the shift key or like the space bar and hear, pardon me, and uh, and uh, just hear how much how much like that that key rattles. You know, it sounds awful, and we want to we want to remove that essentially, and lubing the stabs uh, accomplishes that. Just a little bit. There we go. Why do all the Christmas weapons suck? What you eating, bud? I'm about to make myself some pasta here in a bit. Oh, it's just some random spaghetti that, uh, well, we call it spaghetti, but it's not actually. It's not using the spaghetti noodle. It's just, um... It's liar spaghetti. It's bow tie noodles and some sausage and, like, uh, some pre-made fucking garbage. You liar know. Spaghetti. spaghetti good. I saw a video the other day of some guys going to the spaghetti factory in uh, fucking like Glendale, La La Glendale, Los Angeles, or whatever the fuck. And uh, <laughs> they got they they spent like a thousand dollars on white suits right before they went, and they just like were putting spaghetti in their pockets. They put some in their hats. They put the sausage in their pockets and everything. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. I... Oh. Yeah, you heard me right. I used to go there. Oh, spaghetti factory was good. 
Well, there you go. Spaghetti factory was good. Ah. Come on, you fucker. There we go. All right. Duh, duh, duh. Just dab a little bit on. Because you don't want to put too much lube. If you over lube your stabs or your switches, they'll sound, you know, gross and wet. And you don't want that. You want them to, you want them to be nice and, and crispy and crunchy. You want, you want a nice crisp click and no external vibrations or noise or any of that. We took you there as a bab? Really? Okay, then. See, it's funny you say that because uh, in one of my, I think I had like a public speaking class in high school. And there was uh, a thing we had to do where it was like a mock interview for like uh, getting a job. And uh, we were all interviewing for still dank pastas pasta. Hell yeah. Um, uh, when we were um, doing the mock interview, we were interviewing for the spaghetti factory. And my only time, the only time I'd ever heard of the spaghetti factory as a thing, I didn't know it was a real place. I only heard about it from Drake and Josh or like one of those shows. So I thought Spaghetti Factory was just a made up fucking restaurant that people use to do like mock interviews or use on TV or something like that. And I just, I had no, I had no idea. I obviously learned later, but I, I still haven't been there in recent memory. I know of the Cheesecake Factory, but this is honestly the first time I've known or I've heard of the spaghetti factory like you think of you you hear the word spaghetti factory and it's like okay that's just that's a meme someone made up someone made up a fucking restaurant called the spaghetti factory and they're and they're using that for whatever they're doing you know and here here's here, okay a little bit more keyboard stuff what you want to do when you're lubing the um the wire of the stabilizer is you want to really just cake that shit on is you just want to put on a ton of lube not like so much that it'll sound wet and, and gross, but enough that you'll, um, there'll be enough uh, of a cushion between the housing and the wire itself. So, you know, you, you want you want to cake that bitch in there. How did you become some keyboard expert? Uh, autism. <laughs> Anytime you ask me a question like that, the answer is always just autism. He was so obsessed with it, he became an expert. That's basically it. Yes. It's the hyper-focusing or whatever the fuck. It's honestly me with uh, fucking Linux. Nah. Uh, Linux user. <laughs> <laughs> no. Honestly, though, like, you watch one thing, and then the next, and the next, and the next thing you know, you're a fucking expert on... Yes! What are subject you're looking at? That is exactly what happened with me in keyboards. Is I just watched a shit ton of Teha types, some Glarses, some Shubes, uh, Hamaji Neo, where, uh, we miss you, brother. Squashy boy, hope he enjoys time in the Singapore military. You know, just watched a bunch of fucking YouTubers, and you just learn things via osmosis. Good and bad. Yeah. Uh, you got the keep stuff, yeah. Okay, so small keep. Jamian is not here today. He's doing a uh, he's doing a uh, a film job for someone else. So your your Linux is good comments fall on deaf ears, unfortunately. However, I do agree with you. Linux is good. Really, yeah, Bay. What? No. Huh? What? Don't worry about it. Nothing for you to think about. Don't okay. overthink it. Sounds like me. Okay, I get it. Where do you think I got it from? Where do you think I got my horrendous behavioral issues? Damn, don't say that but to your dad. I'll say whatever I want. What if I say no? Uh, you're banned. Oh, shit. Get that ass banned. You should kill yourself. Now! <laughs> In Thundercrack. Uh, Self-deletion. Best way to go. Self-deletion! <laughs> Self -deletion. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh no! I'm an idiot! Oh no, I'm an idiot! <laughs> huh? I thought that was a given. 
Oh, oh well. The That's... whispering slap. There we go. All right. Fixed. Fixed. We get... That's one, one lubed and tuned stabilizer. And now we got to do three more of those. Oh, jeez. Lubed and tuned. Uh, I was looking at laptops and stuff at Best Buy today. Windows 11 is a bleh. Yeah, yeah. Funny enough, uh, the video that's coming out tomorrow for the YouTube channel is about Linux Mint. So if you're interested in that, uh, go ahead and get subscribed on the YouTube channel. There's a link down below. And you can watch my garbage opinions on Linux Mint. And you can see more of those garbage opinions on Linux Mint now if you become a Patreon. Oh, a patron. Oh. One dollar a month, I'll give you extra videos. Linux Mint was the first distro when I was very serious about using Linux. Yeah, that's it, it's really good. I went with um, Pop! OS at the start because of Anthony from Linus Tech Tips. Um, and he just, like, convinced me, essentially. But uh, nowadays, I would highly recommend that any new linux user go with uh, mint it's it's just so nice and it's it's really similar to windows so nice any, ah hi keeb matt <laughs> thanks for the follow there you go pop os has its quirks yeah it does it does um i have i'm not having too many problems with it but you know that's just how it be every, every distro has its quirks you know is this jazzy zelda yes I have a jazzy Nintendo music uh, compilation going on in the background. Because I want something something relaxing while we build keyboards. Relaxing could be me. Imagine. Arch Linux is still good. <laughs> okay, Arch user. I use Arch, by the way. Guys, did you know I use Arch? Arch. Let me tell, let me tell you about Arch Linux. Fuck. God, these little tiny screws are not magnetic. All right. Squidward playing Zelda. Watched a ton of Arch Linux videos today. Maybe uh, I should use Void so I don't associate with them, Lamel. I mean, one of the one of the next distros I want to check out is uh, is Manjaro. Because I want to do because like. I, I don't have much to say in regards to, like, Linux distros, you know? I can make, like, a very short video about, like, summarizing my feelings. But other than that kind of thing, there's not really a whole lot I can say. Uh, so I want to do a video on, like, the, the big beginner-friendly distros and, like, compare them based on, like, how they perform as beginner distros, you know what I mean? Uh, if you're into Manjaro, go with Endeavor. I'd use Endeavor OS instead, to be honest. What? Okay, so what's up with Endeavor OS, then? Explain. Sell it to me. Sell it to me, chat. I'd be curious to hear as well. I've heard... I mean, I was looking at the freaking... Okay, so not too long ago, I saw the Linux Charts uh, website. I noticed that it actually dethroned Linux Mint as number three. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Or... No, DistroWatch. That's his website. Sorry. Hmm. Interesting. Endeavor's basically Arch, but with a GUI installer and some new friendly tools. Okay. I'm not selling Endeavor OS. I'm trying to keep you from going with Manjaro. <laughs> Is Manjaro really that bad? To be honest, I don't really know. Although, right now, ever since I updated my kernel, I notice some applications are being a bit iffy when trying mm -hmm. to install them. Um, Manjaro delays packages by two weeks? Snorlax.sh to find out why Lamau. Okay, then. We'll check that out later. Um, here we go. And now we're on to our second. It's not bad, bad, but it's not ideal. Okay, I see. I see what you mean. Well, here's the thing, right? I feel like the delaying packages thing isn't really a bad thing in my eyes, but I guess I'm just not like a true Arch user. I'm not a fan of bleeding edge stuff. Like if Linux was my hobby and I was just try like, like trying out distros on my second computer now, like I feel like that bleeding edge shit would be fun. 
But on my work machine? Hell no. I'm not putting I'm not putting anything rolling release on my fucking work machine. I want something stable for that. Yeah. I give a proper link, but I'm not sure if chat would mute me for that. Eh, well. I think it's I think it'll be fine. It's just in case yeah, of Arch I, I to the AUR, it can fuck up dependencies. Okay. Sorry, go ahead, y'all. I, I might mute you for that. <laughs> what, for the for the fuck up your computer and doing rolling releases? Yeah. Alright, bud. That's your deal. Think of release up. Ninjaro does tend to install a lot of a lot of extra applications and programs, I have noticed. Really? Manjaro's bloated? This kinda of seems that way anyways. Huh. Bloatware is the worst thing they could ever have. This I is think. true. This is true. Alright, proper link. There you go. Okay. So there you go, Dad. There's your proper link if you're still here. If you want to learn more about Arch. Arch seems cool. You know, I do want to try it out eventually. But, you know, I'm in no rush. Cool, thanks. There you go. Arch does Yo, have Jesus. an installer now? Really? Okay, then. Because everybody keeps telling me, like, oh, man, you should do a stream where you just install Arch. Like, like just do from the fucking CLI installer. And it's like, I don't, I don't want to do that. Like, just period. That sounds just like a frustrating and stressful stream, both for me and for everybody involved. Like, I'm sure it won't be that... Uh, it boosted the command line. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. That sounds like a nightmare, if I'm being perfectly honest. I do not want to, uh... And curses isn't too bad. Uh, you can use fdisk to format disks. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm just not gonna deal with it? Alright, I'll just use a GUI installer. That should be fine. And curses is the do is a DOS like GUI environment. Okay. Like Windows, but on Linux. You're talking to someone whose first computer was a Macintosh. Like I may be a power user, but I'm not that much of a power user. Jesus. It's fine, really. Okay, yeah. I'll take your word for it, Mr. IT professional. Graduated with a degree in computer science. Fuck off. We're gonna do the long, the space bar stab after I take a few more bites of my spaghetti. I'm just gonna finish my spaghetti right now. So how are y'all doing today, chat? We did it, chat. Hmm. Actually avoid using FDisk. You can set up your boot drive with Gparted and ready to go. That's what I did, LMA. Okay, well, that sounds lovely. Like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not. I basically just got here? Yeah. And how you doing today? While I finish, while I finish my spaghetti. Of course you have a long history with F-Disc. Chat is filled with Linux. Absolutely the chat is filled with Linux. <laughs> I love it. Ah. Oh. Uh, uh, gosh. Oh, Derek, you, you were gifted a, uh, a sub to this channel by my dad. Oh, nice. I got Thank a keyboard you. pass. Uh-huh. I can say gamer. Yes, Derek can now say gamer. He bought himself a G-word pass. Hmm. I forgot about that. I forgot about that lore of the Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah, that's, you literally just revealed some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's an old fucking joke. Oh my god. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Dad made me a gamer. <laughs> my dad made Derek a gamer. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Small Keep, for the sub. Yo. All right. Sub train. You know what I tell train? Nope. 
You know what I tell my customers when they give me tips? Mm -hmm. I tell them there are other ways you can help me out by doing this and this and this. <laughs> it's actually true. By just not being an idiot and actually taking care of your infrastructure? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Conversation was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, we no, can't, we what can't... I mean by that is... Hmm. I don't know why you said that, because it had nothing to do with what I was saying. Oh. I don't know, man. My brain doesn't work right now. I've noticed. My brain never works, so... Alright. Get some Wauda. And now we lube the wire. I feel like the spacebar wire is the easiest to lube because you don't have any risk of getting a bunch of shit all over your hands, you know? Because it's 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 large enough to where you can still grab it and you don't need to get all, get lube all over your hands, you know what I'm saying? I do have a few tools that I use on a periodic basis, basically dump all the arch packages I have so then if I had to reinstall for some reason I can install it all in one shot. I guess sure you could do that with the Buntus, but yeah. Like, I can understand the necessity of I these love tools. it. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Hype train. What's hype train happening? incoming. Poggers. Oh, gosh. It actually is happening. It actually is a hype train. Oh, my fucking God. You'll have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes? Are you fucking kidding me? Pretty much. Holy shit. Okay, then. Uh, uh, back in the day, I used to version control my homedir, all my dot files. Well, all right, we have we have a fucking hype train going on. If you want some exclusive Twitch emotes, fucking sub in the next five minutes, I guess. I don't fuck Jesus. This is, this is already subscribed. This is wacky. Yes, you are because my dad gave you a sub. How Der do I help? Gotcha. Pay it forward, Derek. Give someone else a sub. Don't actually I can't do that right now. Don't actually do that. I love it. Ah, okay. Thanks, Musical Gamer. Oh, no. That was my dad. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah I okay. That. Thanks, Dad, for gifting another sub. Dude. Thank you. Honestly. Jesus Christ. He does that. What? Be annoying? Yes. No. That's not... <laughs> I'm just being a shitter. Yo, thanks. Cool. Wasn't expecting a sub hype train today. <laughs> Is that your first one? Yes. That's actually really cool. And, 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 and of all streams, it had to be on the fucking keyboard stream. <laughs> this might be lucrative. Uh, dude, honestly, I would I will absolutely open up commissions for keyboards and keep streaming about it. I'll be I'll be the next fucking Teha types. I'll be white <laughs> Teha types. Let's fucking go. You'll have to know you're gonna have to find a good way to source those parts, to be honest with you. Yes, this is true. Um the way that the way that most commissioners go about it from what I've seen is just either, hey, tell me what you want, I'll get it for you. Uh some of them use their clout to get commissions done. Um or the customer will just buy the parts and have them shipped over to the builder. I like to support the little Linux keyed creators, but that's okay, Lamau. Okay. Uh, I see <laughs> Linux, I hit subs. Simple. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Those whatever Linux works. Subs. It's always the Linux users. I'm not grabbing these batteries. If you think, I, if y'all think I'm playing objective, I'm not. Imagine playing objective in a multiplayer shooter. I'm not playing PvP. What? What are you playing then? PvE. <laughs> Ugh. I'm just not playing the objective. You're the worst kind of player. I'm literally doing my own shit. I'm playing my own objectives. And they call Linux users cheap. <laughs> I was running Proxmox over the holidays. Yeah, Dad's doing some fucking wild shit with Proxmox and servers and shit. He's building his own fucking mailing server for some reason. To be you fair, don't want to mail a server? 
a to be fair, most mailing services aren't too secure, nor are they very privacy oriented. So I don't blame them, honestly. Sure. I mean, that's fine. How about that uh, Java? <laughs> Java. There you go. Yeah, let's learn Java. Dear God, I need to learn some server stuff someday. Eh, I mean, I guess, if, if you wanna. Like I said, uh, like, I've, I've discovered in using Linux that it's not that I'm a tech person. It's more that I'm more of a hardware enthusiast than I am a software enthusiast. You know what I mean? No, I'm honestly the same way as well. Yeah. Where it's like, I enjoy putting things together. Like, this right... I'm building a fucking keyboard right now. Like, this is fun to me. But going into CLI and and building custom audio syncs so that I can record my videos in the proper way that I want... Mm, no, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah. And, like, I can do basic bash commands. I can install applications via apt or whatever. Or pacman if I ever switch to Linux. Or to Arch. But... Like, I can do those. Those are no problem. But, uh, like, the more advanced shit, like navigating through files via the terminal, no, I don't want to do that. No, thank you. I have a File Explorer app, and I will use that. What does that say? I use Docker on my Ubuntu server. It seems to work. Yeah, that's cool. I set up Rancher. Jeez, they're just talking about fucking server shit. <laughs> All right, sure, whatever. If that's what y'all want to talk about. All right. Now, only two more stabs to go. We're almost done, chat. No, we're not even. We're... But, uh, uh, but what if you can use a CLI file manager? No fucking thank you. I don't want to use that. That sounds like a nightmare. I don't want to do any of that shit. Like, CLI is cool, you know? And I enjoy some aspects of it, but if I can avoid it, I'll avoid it. I use Ranger as a file explorer in my screenshots, then I, uh, then I stop posting and fire up an actual point-and-click file manager like normal person. There you go. Hype train completed level two. Your community contributed a total of four gift subs and zero bits. You reached a hype train, a level one hype train emote. There you go. Where's this fucking hype train emote? Here we go. Okay. Hmm. We got we got this. There you go. Choo choo. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Emotes are being delivered to supporters. There you go. Oh, and Dad, you got a little golden uh, train next to your name. That's how you get people, I've found out. Is how do you how do you sell people to pay extra money? You give them a little icon next to their names. <laughs> Worked for me with the, the don't buy this tier. <laughs> do you know about the don't buy this tier musical game? No, I do. I believe I have heard about it. Yeah, on my Patreon. I have I have a special tier that is called Don't Buy This. And it's twenty dollars a month. And if you buy it you get a little funny dollar sign icon next to your name when I do my shoutouts in my videos. <laughs> people want to belong to something. There you go. I got my purple Discord and I'm happy with it. There you go. People also get a fancy purple name in my Discord channel. Or my Discord server. You get the dumbass with money roll. An exclusive roll to dumbasses with money. Wait, Discord? Yes, I have a Discord channel. Actually, speaking of Discord. Uh, moderators... Snap, snap. I don't have a Discord command on uh, in my no. chat. My my uh, my Twitch presence is very bare bones. It entitles me to a special one to one abuse from that. There you go. Type an exclamation point otter and I'll I'll copy the link. Joking, don't do that. <laughs> don't fucking Doesn't type work. exclamation point otter. Doesn't do anything. I remember there was a Discord bot that did that, or if you typed yeah, in. It, it, it would, it would just post random otter things. Yeah, it would just post an otter gif. Yeah. Oh, here. Best bot ever. There we go! Serotonin button! Everybody click the button! Someone ping Kate! Oh, frick. Where the hell's my Twitch tab? hold up. Here. I'll give you the baby lag Is it general? Here. Where is it? Oh. It's in general. 
Someone ping Kate. What if I just ping everyone? What is that? Musical Gamer, what is that? Um, is as that... far as I know, that's probably Wampus. Is that AMD Chan? No, I'm talking about Yes, yes it is. That is an official AMD Chan from like years ago. Oh my god. I'm not like getting a bird. A bird? Um, they, at this point, so that is AMD Chan from like during the like bulldozer days. However, she was retired pretty quickly, if not mistaken. I'm not surprised. And, uh, however, they did get two new ones for for uh, fucking Zen. Oh boy. God. When when uh when Alex posted fucking Arch Chan, I was very disappointed in all of you. <laughs> look, man, you gotta have waifu somewhere. Look, all right, I okay. Look, I'm not <laughs> I'm not opposed to the concept of waifus. No, that's not true. I am opposed to the concept of white <laughs> I am. Like it's it's just it's just digital simping. It's an NFT. It's oh, don't say that. You're bringing the NFT weirdos. <laughs> we'll start talking about my about their fucking uh, chimp waifus. Oh god. God. Someone's paid for that. Someone's paid thousands of dollars for chimps. Yeah. I've already, I've already seen a meme somewhere. Uh, NFT girlfriend being Oh, around. yeah, I love it. I love that meme. Where it's, uh, if you pay enough money, I'll go around telling people I'm yours, but you're never allowed to touch me. Yeah. That's just, that's just, that's just financial domination. I'm so happy depression is fake. Chimp waifus lamau. Don't lie, you were proud of your degenerate stew of a Discord server. A little bit. Uh, I will never, ever go to your Discord. Dad, you don't want to be on my Discord. You really don't. I would have to immediately leave. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't give him the 18 plus roll. Let's just be honest. Don't oh, say no. that. <laughs> I wouldn't gain him access to the 18 plus channels. Hmm. You'll probably find a way to give it to himself. I wouldn't be surprised. You leave your computer running one day. Here's the thing, I don't leave my computer running. I turn my computer off when I'm not using it. Yeah, I turn mine off too. I know a lot of people say, oh, I should leave it on. I, I've never understood that. Personally. I don't understand that. It's a waste of electricity. I'm glad my, my father God. has no access to Discord. He'd probably be shocked too, Lamau. <laughs> uh, small keep, I can see you joining the text of uh, the voice channels, but uh, I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Um, we have, uh, what's it called? I know, I know you're probably fine, but we have uh, securities in place where it's like... Because, uh, funny story, back when uh, I was on this other guy's uh, uh, Twitch stream, and we were playing uh, Destiny. This is how long ago this was when I played Destiny. Boy! Yeah, right? We were streaming some raid or something. I think we were doing Leviathan specifically. We were. And some we were dude... We doing Menagerie. I clicked on it accident, darn it. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, some dude got into his server through the disc the, the exclamation mark discord command and then joined the vc and started screaming kill all n-words like just in vc and yeah, started yelling a bunch of slurs started yelling a bunch of slurs making a bunch of moaning noises like just yeah so gotta play it gotta play it safe you never know you never know who's out there on the internet could be me it, it could be it could be Derek. it could be a furry you never know Such shit <laughs> To be fair, I am at the mercy of Derek. <laughs> Every constant. A lot of people are at the mercy of me. Yep. I'm benevolent. Benevolent. Whatever. We don't talk about why, though. Well, yeah, we don't. <sighs> someone's fucking... Someone's name on Steam is the, is the Java exploit. <laughs> Bloody griefers. Yeah, I clicked it on accident. Lamau happens too often for me. All right, then. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I'm not mad at you for wanting to join VC. I don't blame you. But uh, just explaining just explaining what, wh why we do things the way we do things here on this server. There we go. But you're free to partake in conversations and stuff like that. Fucking slather that shit on the wire. When this
this keyboard's all finished, it's gonna be real nice. Guarantee it. Because I built this, um, I built this keyboard the other day uh, without any mods. Like I, I planned to do some modifications to this board, and I built it without any of those modifications. And I'll play that. Uh, I took a sound test of that. I'll play that sound test here on stream, if uh, if y'all want to see the before and after. Um, maybe I do less if I installed the Discord client, but I'll pass on that. Hey, you know what? Fair enough. I have the Discord client, and I don't really mind it, but I can understand why people don't want to use it. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm starting to realize what it meant by, like, clicked on that. Dude, I, I have... Oh, I have done that so many times in the past. And Where you've clicked on a VC by accident? Yeah, thinking it was, like, a text channel or something. <laughs> um, I know if I remember correctly they have made it so that there's a seo a confirmation now whenever mm, you do that really interesting yeah I've, I've never considered building a keyboard but this genuinely looks like a masochistic level of fun to me i mean yeah pretty much um it's like building a pc you know you can't like speed run this shit you need to take your time with it and if you try to speed run building a pc it'll just lead to heartbreak but I'm having fun. Right now. I'm having fun, though. Derek, remember that PC we built for Taylor and how awful it was? <sighs> so, uh, we spent all day building a computer for a friend of ours. And he bought the nicest fucking parts. Like, he had a nice... I think he... Did he go with Ryzen? Uh, he did. He also okay. had an AMD. No, he, he didn't, because uh, he was using, he's using my old motherboard. Oh, okay. So, he had Intel. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, but he had military some military grade oh garbage. Yeah, he had some uh but if you can omit the soldering step IMO even better. Yeah, that's why I went with hot swap. Um but he had he managed to snag an RTX 3070 just randomly. He texts me one day and he's like, "Hey, Cam, what fucking um uh, graphics card should I be looking out for?" And I go, "Well, I mean, if you really want to know, uh the RTX 3070 or the 30 series cards are really good and if you can find one if you can somehow manage to find one of those that'd be a good grab and then two minutes later he sends me a link and goes is this the is this the graphics card and i go uh yeah and he goes all right and he, and he bought it on the spot no because uh i actually okay i don't think you actually know what happened then oh what i actually had to get the graphics card for him oh this was later i'm sorry he got he got a 20 card later I think he had like a 10 oh, okay. series. Card. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I at the start he had that. a 10 series, but whatever. So Derek and I spend all fucking day building this fucking uh, computer for him, right? And we're just struggling because he's got these nice, big, bulky parts. And uh, why did I get added? <laughs> tell uh, tell Aaron about the serotonin button. Um, uh, My hands are preoccupied. That's fine. We spent all day building this thing, and he bought really nice parts, but you want to know how much he spent on his case? Like, oh. less than $50. Oh, no. Yeah, he barely put any money into his case. And so his case was dog shit. It had, uh, it had sprue everywhere on the inside, so Derek and I kept constantly cutting our fucking hands, just putting it together. Mm. Uh, and it was such a shit layout that we couldn't fit all of his parts into the computer going the right way. So you know how in most computers you have intake fans on the front and out, and you output the uh, the heat in the back, right? Yeah. We couldn't do that. Mm. We had to have the intake fan be on the back and the outputs be on the front. Yeah. Ridiculous. God. It was such a bad computer. I don't think he's ever upgraded that case. Did he upgrade that case? No, he's. There? I, 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 I know he, he briefly asked me about okay. possible other cases. Okay. Of course, anything I recommend is going to be gigantic. Yeah, right. Look, man, if he needs a case, I have a case literally sitting next to me right now that's not being used. He lives in New Mexico, so I don't think that's going to oh, work well, out. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he's an Air Force officer. <laughs> yeah. He's too good for us. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. He's just got, like, a real fucking job now. So, no time for the homies. Anymore. Hey, Captain Clown, what's good? Why, why do you keep posting images, Dad? Oh, man. What happened to the spaghetti? What the fuck is it's this? <laughs> why do you... 
Why are you posting pictures of John Merrick? <laughs> hey, you guys want to know my favorite title to any song ever? John Madden? So, there's a song uh, by Buckethead. I don't know who here knows about Buckethead. But uh, he, he made an album a while ago that was called Buckethead Land 2. And it's like my favorite album by him. And there's a song on that album. Which I'm pretty sure all of the songs are named after rides at Buckethead Land. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the songs is titled The John Merrick Elephant Man Bones Explosion. Oh no. Yeah. Fendrana Drifts. Hell yeah, bro. Metroid Prime, let's fucking go. So I ran like the uh the Nintendo uh jazz compilation ran out, so I just went with another Nintendo music compilation. God damn it. Mm. Nice. There we go. Jeez. Ah, yeah, building keyboards is a little masochistic. John Merrick's bones. I was just playing a short hike. Ooh, that game looks interesting, actually. I I'm liking I'm liking more and more the little the short focused concept games, you know? Like Grow Home and Short Hike looks really cool. I do need to play Stanley Parable at some point. But Genuinely, bigger games just don't excite me anymore. And the only ones, the only, like, the most recent AAA games that excite me are either Nintendo games, of course, uh, and Elden Ring. Like, Elden Ring is the most exciting AAA game I could think of in recent memory. Dude, my friends are all over that shit right oh, now. Oh, it's gonna be so fucking cool, man. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. It's That's just all big Dark Souls! So I've got Pokemon Legends coming out. I've got the mm -hmm. Destiny 2 Witch Queen expansion. Okay, so I saw more Rick. footage of Pokemon Legends. It's yeah. just Monster Hunter. Yeah, we, well, I, I, I kept saying, I've been saying that. Okay. I have been saying that. Pardon, pardon, pardon. But yes. It's Monster Hunter with Pokemon Battle Mechanics. Pokemon Legends Arceus is just Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's good. So Monster Hunter Stories is Monster Hunter's Pokemon. And Pokemon Legends Arceus is Pokemon's Monster Hunter. By the way, Pokemon Legends is going to be a series. Aw, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I might actually play Pokemon now. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm still... I'm still wary. In the introduction trailer for, for Pokemon Legends Arceus, it, op it shows one book, and there's three other books behind it with different colors. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go, bro. So either expansions or Legends is going to be a series. Games that focus on doing less but do those things very well. Exactly. Exactly. I find that more appealing just as a game, you know? Like, I was having so much goddamn fun with Grow Home, and then I played the sequel, Grow Up, and I don't know, man. It just didn't hit the same way. I thought I would like it because it would just be more Grow Home, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I had a fully completed save file on Grow Home, and going to Grow Up just is kind of upsetting because you're back to square one, you know? That's kind of how I am with Monster Hunter, honestly. I don't blame you on that one. Like, you start at the very bottom each time. I mean, the reason why it's okay with me and Monster Hunter is because in pretty much all the games, they always introduce new gameplay mechanics. So I'm okay with starting at the bottom if it means I get to learn the new mechanics, you know? That's true. However, it does lead to, you know, players like me that, you know, uh, that, you know, got introduced in something like World from, like, going back. Or at least it makes it harder going back to the older titles. I can understand that. I can understand that. Uh, my friends are wanting to play Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And I'm super down to play it, just because, like, I've been meaning to play that for a while. Oh, this is the Boggly Tree, I think, from Paper Mario. Is it? I think. The pacing feels off on Grow Up? A little bit! A little bit! It's really weird. Like, I can't really quantify why that game just doesn't hit as hard, but it just does. I, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't think I've played a AAA title since Final Fantasy XV, to be honest. No, that's fair. Uh, is this Mario Paint? No, this is, I believe this is a Boggly Tree from Paper Mario. What are we on, 1853? Oh no, this is Background Music 3 from Mario Paint. Holy shit, wow, good job on that one. Uh, if you played Monster Hunter Rise, is it good? Because I wanted to try out Monster Hunter. I, okay. I think Rise is the best introduction to the series so far. Um, I like it more than uh, Monster Hunter World. I like it a lot more than Monster Hunter World. Um, but it's not like... 
it's nowhere near the quote unquote real Monster Hunter experience. You know what I mean? Because I'm a fucking, I'm a jaded veteran. You know, I've been playing since Monster Hunter 4. So, every veteran's a jaded veteran. <laughs> yeah, every every veteran is jaded. Um, like, what were you saying, musical gamer? Go ahead. No, I was about to mention. So you say that Rise is a really good introduction, though. But honestly, like some some complaints I've actually seen of like new players going in that you know tried world later on is that they found the tutorials to be kind of lacking in Rise. I can see that. Um, the only reason why I say it's a good, it's the best introduction is because world world sets its tone very quickly and i feel like that tone is a disservice to the entire monster hunter series that is true actually like as far as i from what i've seen monster hunter generally is a doesn't take itself too seriously yet. never never rise their world really was the first time they attempted something like that wasn't it yes yes um and that's why I don't like World a whole lot. That's one of the main reasons. How would you say it compares to Monster Hunter Freedom 3 on the PSP if you've played that? Okay. Rise and Monster Hunter Freedom? Like, holy shit, dude. They are completely different games. Monster Hunter Freedom is very, like... I'm gonna go try out the demo. Hell yeah, do that. Do that. If you like it, you like it. If not, hey, that's okay, too. But Freedom and Rise are completely different games. Um, playing Freedom, it's very... Any of the older Monster Hunter games, I say anything before four, you know, not even even on like four and beforehand. Any of those games are very deliberate. You know, you have to position yourself properly. It's all about knowing the monster's weaknesses and type advantages and disadvantages, and you have to position yourself properly during the fight and land those hits just right. And you have certain builds that are that exist in those games that don't exist in the new ones. Um, it's it's like going from... How do I describe this? It's like going from Devil May Cry 1 to Devil May Cry 5. If that make, if you've ever played Devil May Cry before. Like, it's that much of a leap in, like, movement and mobility and movesets that it's it's a little bit jarring, in a way. They're still... Like, they're all good games, right? I, I, w I still think World is a very good game. I just have my personal problems with it, you know? But yeah, those 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 movement foibles are def are very real. More dynamic and mechanically more forgiving without being easy. Ex there, you know what? Perfect, perfect sum, perfect summary. That's, yeah, that is it. Because it's uh, Monster Hunter Rise is definitely not an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, and neither is World, to be fair. But they're just more forgiving. Like you have thing, you have archaic things from the previous Monster Hunter games that were just taken out, like the whole hot drink, cool drink system, where if you go into a hot environment, you gotta drink a cool drink, and if you go into a cold environment, you gotta drink a hot drink. Like that's all gone in Rise, and that might be a good thing, honestly. Um, I feel like that's a good thing for new players because it's not this like weirdly obtuse system of hot drinks and cool drinks. You know what I mean? But you do lose a little bit of that of that charm from the older games i don't know it's just it's nostalgia it's always just like i can't i can't talk about these games objectively anymore because i like four you know definitely more welcoming but i did enjoy that magic yeah exactly exactly <laughs> all right stabs are all finally complete we can actually build a fucking keyboard. Huzzah! Huzzah! One more hours. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, there we go. What is going on? Ah! Okay. Come on, fucker. Fit, goddammit. Oh, man. It doesn't fit. Tell me some shit. Okay, like, there were clearance issues with the stabilizers, and I read that these stabilizers would work. Swear to God if they don't work. 
I think it'll be fine. Are you kidding me? It's not working, ain't it? Hold on. Biting nails. <laughs> Fuck off. That's actually what it is right now. Come on, these stabs should have worked. It's just like not... Hold on. I think what I need to do... Okay, I see what's going on, actually. Um, I just need to file down the spacebar stab. <sighs> See, like, I didn't do a whole lot of research into this board when I chose it. So, you know, I have to I have to deal with the consequences of my own actions. So, yeah, I know how it be. I see. So here we go. I have to, I'm essentially going to, like, this one corner right here. It's not, here, if I could... This little corner right here on this stab is preventing it from actually fitting in the board. So I'm going to have to like file it down to make it work. I just don't know how much I'm gonna have to file it. God, I'm fucking sweating from this man. Sorry, I'm not doing anything on camera. Oops. <sighs> This seems sketch? A little bit. At least you ain't drilling holes into boards. Yeah, right. At least I'm not making new... At least I'm not making new, uh... Patches on the boards. Let's see if, uh... Okay. It's, like... Hold on. Where's my fucking knife? Oh, shit, here comes the knife. Yeah, here comes the knife. I have to, like, carve about to stab off. a bitch. I have to carve off a whole section of this fucking board. Not board, stabilizer. Mm. Okay, knife's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't trust myself with the knife. Next up on Pav's Bodge Shop. Hell yeah! Dude, that's <laughs> that's what my whole fucking channel is built on. And I know what a fucking... I know what a bodge is. So, I'm familiar with that terminology. I watch Tom Scott. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Hi, hey, Derek. Beck. Unfortunate. So, Derek, I ran into a problem. What's your problem? The stabilizers don't fit. <laughs> Are you sanding them down? Yep. <sighs> don't cut yourself. I'll be fine. I remember oh. I was working at Walmart and I had a box cutter and I accidentally sliced up my arm. How did you way. do that? Like, uh, I was trying to cut a box and I sliced it up and I did it a long ways. Ah. Uh, mm. Walmart was like. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. There, uh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say it was stupid. Well, no, that's what uh, that's what Alex said in chat. I can't believe Alex said it was stupid. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Really is four days away. What's four days away? The uh, uh, release. Of Rise. Oh, of, of Rise, yeah. It's really just this one fucking stabilizer piece. Like I'm looking at the rest of them, and nothing's really having interference problems. But it's just this one part that I have to file down. So some de this is this is this is about Destiny, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole, there's a, a new dungeon I added Destiny recently in the last like two months. Mm -hmm. Really fucking good, really great, really 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 good. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole thing is a uh, it's based off the Goonies. Of course. Okay. Just downloaded the demo for Rise. Hopefully it hooks me. Hell yeah, that'd be cool. And it reminded me of that was your dad's post earlier. Oh hell yeah. The Comet Observatory. Not Comet Observatory, fuck. This is the observatory for Majora's Mask. Sir. 
pretty absurd if I do say so myself. Hopefully, Arch play. Hopefully, and hopefully, Arch plays ball and decides to be my friend over it. Yeah, um, I was able to do it on Ubuntu, but I don't know about Arch. playlist is nostalgic as hell. Absolutely. It's 75 minutes of relaxing Nintendo music. I just want to play Majora's Mask now. It's such a good fucking game, dude. 3DS Majora's Mask. No. What do you mean, title? Guild it. Hold up. Just have to carve off chunks. I've never seen that pop up before. What? Uh, something on Destiny. Okay, then. Yeah, they added the Bully, Mag Bully Maguire dance to Destiny nice. uh, last week. Uh, the great Bugly Woods. Yeah, this Bugly. is Bugly Woods. Boggle Boggle. Sorry, I'm not doing anything on camera. I'm just making sure that I'm like... Because I've decided that instead of using my knife or anything, I'm just going to carve it off using these nail clippers again. Oh, boy. Yeah. Not exciting. Yep. I'd rather there be some risk involved, like you actually cutting your hand off. No. I don't want that. No. I don't want that. I was about to be really graphic. <laughs> okay. Is this one? Thirty-two oh four. Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Okay. Professor Layton and the Unsolved Keyboard Computer. I have not played a Professor Layton game. I hear they're very good. Yeah, I've heard they're good, good things too about them. It's just one of those niche Nintendo series that I've never really given a shot yet. Getting anywhere? Okay, so it's just these two stabs down here on the bottom, and so what I'm doing is I'm using nail clippers to trim away the excess plastic, uh, and hopefully that will, hopefully that will uh, solve my problem. Because a lot of people were complaining about the clearance issues on this board, and I saw those issues, and I was told, or I read that getting these genuine cherry stabs would do the trick and they would fit. Turns out, they don't. Well, I did you. Sorry, Pat, did you ever play Advance Wars on the GBA? Uh, I have not played Advance Wars, but I'm very okay. aware of it, and I am and I do want to play the uh, remakes when they come out. I was just to say, well, are you going to play the remake, though? Uh -huh. Eventually. That sounds, like, that sounds like fun, unironically. Am I really going to end my week? Not on camera, just FYI. I'm aware it's not on camera. I'm just making sure that I can actually do it. I'm just keeping a close eye on it. I'm like whittling like a fucking boy scout. Here. 
I actually am whittling it now. There you go. I remember the fucking whittling class you had to take for Boy Scouts. Whittle, whittle. Whittle, whittle. I think butchery like this goes against Twitch Terms of Service. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got a totin' shit car What the fuck did you just say? What does that mean? Is that a whittling thing I don't remember? No. What the fuck is a totin' shit card? That sounds like a slur. To carry a knife. Okay. Huh, so I was, okay, so I was right. It is a slur, because it's Boy Scouts. <laughs> God, my hands are fucking sweating. My parents tried to get me to do Boy Scouts. My dad really wanted me to do Boy Scouts, but it just never worked out. You're doing it right I now. I did Cub Scouts, though. That was okay. Uh, but then when I got to Boy Scouts and we actually went camping, that sucked. Do you carve wood often? Just a whittle. God, shut the fuck up. You ever hear something so stupid you question reality? Yes. I, I, I question reality when I talk to you often. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I mean, I, I, you'd have a good reason to question reality. You don't even talk to me very often. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to try screwing these fucking things in. Oh man, he'd be screwing you old. Oh hell yeah, Animal Crossing music, right on cue. Where's Kate at? Uh, I don't know. Probably setting up her fucking microphone again. The game is telling me how to play and not let me play how I want to play. Yeah. It's like getting on Monster Hunter and telling you, this week you must use Hunter Horn. This week you must use this and this and this. And this Gross. week you must use this. Gross. I don't like that. I don't like that in any Monster game. Monster Hunter has a live action, has a live service game. Uh, that's just Dauntless. See, here's the, here's the thing. Monster Hunter, is, Monster Hunter is ripe to be something like that. And they don't. They don't do it. Yeah. No, I'm, gl I'm glad they don't. Okay. Not but, yet. Uh, anyways. See, I, I thought Monster Hunter World was going to be something like that, to be honest with you. I was worried. I mean, they do have that MMO from China. I'm sure that's got some shit in it. Because, you know. Here? What's up? Uh, MM MMOs are popular in other, in other parts of the world. Well, no, what I mean is, like, China is rife with, like, you know, that kind of shit. Because that, that's just what they're used to in their games. I do know a certain ISP is trying to open up internet cafes here in, here in Houston. That's never going to happen. I, I, I don't think it's going to... I, I don't think it's going to end well, is my opinion. Yeah. So it's not that it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just, how long is it going to last? Not long. Mm hmm. So I believe the current state of the world is called that, so... That's true. I'm sorry this is not on camera again. I'm just, like, focusing on this. And yeah. empty, empty spaghetti plate stream. Let's go. A spaghetti plate. I'm going to head out. I got work in the morning. Have fun with the build, Pav. All right. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you being here. It'll be really nice when it's all done. I promise. Are you going to finish on stream? Yes. I'm not ending the stream until it's done. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming until midnight tonight is what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'll stick around then. <laughs> Alright. It's just this one fucking stab, dude. Ah! Hmm. Uh, come on, bro. Why you gotta do this to me? Playing Destiny. Playing as Bubble Titan, because what else? And Somebody put the turret down, and I pop, I pop my bubble around the turret. Yes. That is how you play bubble, bubble uh, Titan. That's how you play as Titan. You just block everybody else from doing anything. Yes. Oh, does the uh, bubble not allow you to shoot outwards? I thought it did. Uh, no, not. Uh, that's one of the. Uh, that's one of the like. That's one of the trade-offs for using it. You cannot shoot out of it. That's fucking stupid. 
Hmm. I mean, it's balancing. Ain't that a halo it. thing? What's up? Isn't that... Uh, the bubble shield and halo 3 is what you're thinking of, but yes. That's yeah. Same, same thing. Hmm. Lame. That's what I gotta say. Honestly, at this point... Hold on. Alright. I'm just gonna... Like... I'm just tempted to take a fucking Dremel to the... To the metal right here. And carve that out a bit more. Oh man, we begin violent now. Maybe I'll just force it. I don't fucking know. What do you think would be worse? Forcing it or... Hmm. Okay. I'm getting clearance problems on this stabilizer too. And you're saying you're gonna take keyboard commissions, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this board. Th that sounds like a metal plan, Lamau. Shut the fuck up, small keep. It's just this board. This board's got some weird clearance issues. Man, I hope you ain't getting bored of this yet. Shut the fuck. I will fucking murder you. <laughs> fuck it. We're just gonna force it. Because I am so tired of this. Oh, here we go. Dire, dire docks. Hence why I built me an ortholinear instead. I do want to do an ortholinear at some point. That sounds like fun. Because I'm noticing problems with... Now, these stabs seem fine now. Is this the way you're putting it in? No, it's... <laughs> It's these. It's like this stab here near the middle. Hmm. I don't know which one though. I'm thinking it's this one. It's my fault for not doing proper research. Let's be real. Oh, I'm scared. For your build? <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna be nearly this bad. It's just because this thing has an integrated plate. Well, the, the first time, I, the first PC I built, I did it with somebody who had done PCs before. Mm, and, I see. like, and so the problem we uh, the problem is the original motherboard I was going through sold out, and so uh, so we uh we changed to another board last second. Mm. Turns out the CPU, the CPU I got didn't fit that motherboard. Oh, so no. I made him rush out with me at like 8 p.m. at night to Alltech, and Ugh. we bought a CPU that was apparently a lot more powerful because it fit the board. Huh. Mm. What'd you do with the old CPU? It's sitting. It's never been used and sitting in my room right now. And that was almost. That was 2014. Jeez. 2014. That's a it while ago. Out. Possibly six gen. Maybe. I know I built my board in like with six gen. My first build was a six gen, is what I'm saying. I'm gonna go get the smaller uh, nail clippers. I'll be right back. I know where they are. I'll be right back too. Okay. Well then. I'll be right back. So, how's everyone's day been? Doing good? Enjoying your weekend? Weather around here has been quite spotty. Okay. I return. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make this work, I swear. I am not filming this well at all. <laughs> no, you're not, mate. That's fine. It'll be all it'll be all worth it when it's all built and ready to go. Let me uh, zoom out a bit then. Ooh, Midna's Lament. This is a good one. Oh no, this is Lost Woods, pardon. This is Twilight Princess Lost Woods. Because I'm just trying to like, get a good... Yeah, that's Lost Woods, all right. Oh yeah. Twilight Princess was such a whack game. 
Like, it was so good. It was so good in a lot of parts, but the beginning just really fucks up the whole experience. Like, I was not a fan of that game's opening. To be fair, at least from what rumors say, it was a bit of a rush job, wasn't it? Was it? Uh, it was in response to uh, the backlash of Wind Waker, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Because, you know, they were expecting you, a, you know... People were they expecting were another realistic expecting Zelda. Like Zelda. to be the, what that tech demo was exactly, showing. Exactly, exactly. That's why that princess is my favorite Zelda, to be honest. That's fine. Like, you can like that game all you want. Because that game is good, right? But I just... I think Wind Waker is a little bit better, honestly. If we're talking about GameCube Wii era Zelda games, I think Wind Waker is the best one. Hmm. I uh, know, man, Spirit Tracks and the Phantom Hourglass are pretty good. Okay, I opinion. didn't play a whole lot of those. I had them, I just didn't play a whole lot of them. Ah! Okay. We've made a lot of progress. Alright, now I just need to, fi to fuck up this stabilizer. <laughs> Carve more! And I want to take keyboard commissions. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever makes the keyboard come together. What makes it stable. Ah! Ah! It works! Okay! <laughs> We're good! It's finally ready to go together. This keyboard is like 30 minutes away from being done. Alright. We finally, finally made it. Okay. Oh, what the fu- Oh my god, no it's not. What? kidding me are we having problems with oh wait i first off i forgot to what keycaps did you go for i'll show you here when it when it's ready but um mm, it's this one up here yeah this one needs to be clipped too i also forgot to screw in the other stab i took out so i have to put that back in too and i just forgot to do that right. yep you know what just to be safe i will clip the uh, oh. other i'll just clip all of them I went with uh, EPBT keycaps, small keys. Uh, I found a really nice, cause really I just wanted to go for the colors. Uh, I just went on KBD fans and found a uh, nice green keycap set that I really like the look of. And so uh, I will show you when we reach that point. What is this? What is what, a song? Yeah. Uh, let me double check. I wanna say it's Pikmin. No, it's not Pikmin. 4754. Cosmic Cove Galaxy for Mario Galaxy 2. Oh. Um, dude, no joke. I hardly remember the Galaxy games I, at this point. Like, I have, I have a lot of nostalgia for the Galaxy games, but looking back on them compared to, like, the other Mario games that came out, they're just not great. Like, I don't, I don't think the Mario games, or the Mario Galaxy games age that well. Really? Uh, well... <sighs> It's mostly because they do this weird thing where they try to be, like, a finish-the-level type Mario game while also, like, halfway stepping into the open-world Mario game formulas, formats, mm. excuse me. And they just True. fail on both fronts. Because they have levels that change dynamically with what star you pick, like in Mario Sunshine, which is cool, right? But yeah. all the levels are pretty much just straight lines. You know, there's no exploration needed in order to beat any of the stars in Mario Galaxy. That's true. So, I don't know. It's, like, it plays well, kind of. Like, I have problems with Mario's spin. I played that game recently when the uh, Mario All-Stars 3-pack came out. And going through Galaxy again, it's like, wow, did this spin always feel like shit to, to do? 
Because the spin feels like shit. It's probably because, you know, the emulation or some nonsense. Well, no. Like, the reason why I'm not a fan of the spin is because whenever you whenever you do, like, a long jump and then you You spin, lose momentum. You lose all your momentum. So it's like, I don't know. It just feels wrong. Like, I loved that game as a kid, but looking back on it now, eh, I don't know. Hmm. I'd rather just play Sunshine again or Odyssey, you know. I did made I did made mention the other time that um I, I ended up not becoming much of a fan or ended up starting resenting the Wii. Oh yeah, that's true. Why did that happen? To be honest, I don't know. Maybe I lost interest. I was around. I, I was in my pre-teens, teen teens at that point. So maybe it was. <laughs> maybe it was just the angst. Yeah, probably. That could be the case. That happens a lot. <sighs> I know I grew I grew to resent uh, Xbox and PlayStation and all that stuff when I was a kid because everybody made fun of me at school for still playing on the Wii. Same. Yeah. So Fucking instead of DS. yeah, instead of uh, you know wanting to get an Xbox due to peer pressure, I just ended up resenting a lot of those series. Like I fucking hate Call of Duty to this day because of all that. Same. So you know. You know how it be. Yeah. Honestly, no, like, my thoughts completely echo yours. Um, hmm. Of course, nowadays, I've, you know, grown and, you know, expanded my horizons. But right, I try I have, to do that, too. I have found that I lack in the required skills for shooters, actually. See, I don't have that, because I play Doom Eternal, and... Uh... And uh, a bunch of other, like, high, like Ultra Kill. Like, I fucking love Ultra Kill. Like, I thought I just didn't like shooters as a kid, but it turns out I just didn't play the right shooters, you know? Mm. Ultra Kill, Doom Eternal, uh, what else is up there? With, like, my favorite... Let me look at my Steam library real quick. Uh, it was when I discovered Boomer Shooters. Like, oh, Dusk. Oh, Dusk and a Medieval are so fucking good. Uh, I call COD players Codfish Lamel. Boomer shooters are the best shooters, to be honest. Yeah, on unironically, boomer shooters are so fucking fun. Uh, oh, I'm so, oh god. Have you seen Gloomwood at all, musical gamer? Um, can't say I have, but I probably might have seen it at some point and just forgotten about it. <laughs> Go to thiefwithguns.com. Hmm. And that's what you'll find. Uh. I love the the New Blood guys because they buy a bunch of like joke um, domains and use that to yeah. link to their games. Like they like the one for Ultra Kill is Devil May Quake, and it really is Devil May Quake. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. That game is so fucking. Oh, Ultra Kill is like one of my favorite shooters of all time, dude. That game is so um, goddamn good. The only other things I could you know put into this conversation is that uh, despite my you know lack of like actual skills, like like God, I like, I fail hard in games like CS:GO and uh, yeah, those are very and, different uh, kinds of shooters. Rainbow Six. However, I find myself actually quite enjoying TF2. TF2 is fun. I I, w I would consider TF2 to be a boomer shooter, to be honest, because mm. it's not like a positional shooter like Valorant or CS:GO, uh, or even is. or even Siege. It kind of is, really. Yeah, it's actually quite reliant on on the. Uh, you know, basic, uh, basic, you know, skills of, you know, best, the basic mastery of the movement system and. Well, that's not know. what I'm saying. Like movement systems are one thing, but I'm saying like, um, Valorant and CS:GO are very slow, deliberate shooters where every decision you make matters. In TF2, mm. it's not really the case. At least back when I played, it could be different now. Um, no, it's pretty much the same. Okay. I mean, it hasn't had a good update in <laughs> who knows how long at this point. It's yeah, been... who knows? Who knows how long? What, 2017 was Jungle Inferno? Yep. Dude, I remember sitting in fucking um, Cracker Barrel, seeing the Pyro, the Meet the Pyro video come out, and I shat my pants because it was, it was finally time for Meet the Pyro. No joke. Like, the reason I got into PC gaming in the first place is because I basically heard a lot about TF2 and mm -hmm. kind of wanted to check it out. Well, there you go. It's ironic because I remember seeing my boomer, sh my boomer uh, Faha play Doom, play the Dooms Quakes and Unreals as a youngin, 
so kind of fit in the name to be honest <laughs> yeah no my dad will tell you stories about how he used to play quake with his buds at a, when he used to work at jpl and that was just one of the things they did and he has like a fight or flight response when he hears the sound of the of the quad damage power up Borderlands 2 is pretty good as well. I haven't really gotten into the, into the Borderlands games. Um, you know, it, it's just one of those series that I've never really played, honestly. It seems like... No, well, no, that's not true, actually. I played Borderlands 1 a bit with a, with a couple friends, and it was fine, you know? But it wasn't really... Like, I didn't, I didn't really get much out of it, you know? Mm. Um, Still from what I've heard... Nice. Uh, the general consensus is now that um, apparently Borderlands 1 really wasn't too good of a game and Borderlands 2 really did improve the majority of the issues. I see the exact opposite of that sentiment a lot of the times, honestly. I see people really? I see people, well, at least my friends complain more about um, Borderlands 2 compared to Borderlands 1. Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, why? I'm not using your shitty stabs, Idabow. <laughs> At this point, might as well make a sandwich and not come back to this still. Yeah, right. I'll still be on this. Is it this one? I think it's this one. It might be this one. Oh, shit, now we're on Pikmin, finally. Oh, well, I'm a dink. Hmm? I just noticed that you were you were actually streaming the video feed to Discord as well. <laughs> yeah. I was literally watching the Twitch, uh, well, the inter er, Twitch feed the entire time. Oh, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. Nah, yeah, whatever. I get to engage with chat at least. Yeah. I mean, on the Discord stream, you can see chat also. Hmm. Yeah. If somebody types in chat. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. Because uh, what I have it is... Yeah, like yeah. The... OBS, uh, yeah. it was uh, the internet OBS. overlay or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> this is so goddamn frustrating. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought this would be a quick and easy build. <laughs> yeah, keyboard... Bros really do make it seem easier, don't, don't they? They really do. They really fucking do. Um. Oh well. Well, it's it's because most of these boards don't have these problems, and it's literally mm. I'm never buying a fucking Idobel board ever again. Jesus Christ. Actually, something that stuck out to me, made mention of, hmm. Hamaji Neo is in the realm. He hasn't made a video in a while. Really? Yeah. I really haven't been paying attention, although I did kind of, you know, drifted whenever he stopped making TF2 content. Oh, he used to make TF2 content? Yeah, he did. He, he used to be a TF2 tuber, but then he, one day he just up and, you know, I guess he kind of just saw the Ryan on the wall and was like, nope, fuck this. My ID 75 is an ID about 70. Okay, you have the ID about 75. I have the ID 87. And this board fucking sucks right now, because I have to deal with all these goddamn clearance issues on the stabilizers. I didn't expect this to be a problem, but here we are. Actually, I think the most poetic thing I've seen from Homage Neo was basically the last thing he really made, those two of two related, was him reacting to basically someone uh, basically kind of carry on the torch of his old TF2 series. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. That is poetic, actually. Few stabilizers to be concerned about. Fewer. Uh, this is another reason I prefer ortho linears. Fewer stabs to, to be concerned about. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> guess that's the point. I guess that's a good point. Is you just don't have to worry about stabs when you're making an ortho board. Yeah. This is probably the worst fucking video I've done so far. It's quite entertaining to watch. I'll say that much. Oh, really? Alright, then.
Yeah, but the viewers love seeing you squirm. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Hey, yo. We're making a keyboard, and I'm failing miserably at it. Because this board fucking sucks, or this shitty integrated plate sucks. It's it, like every single problem from this board stems from the fact that it's got an integrated plate. Yeah. Actually, no, thinking about it, thinking about it, you did make mention of that the other day. Mm hmm. Like, I thought it was gonna cause problems, but I didn't know it was gonna cause this, like, this amount of problems. And I thought I would be done with this by just using these cherry stabs. Turns out, nah. Ask me like what my favorite series is. As much as I like Monster Hunter currently, it's probably I going. typically give it the label of favorite ongoing series. Okay. Yeah, cause Donkey Kong favorite... hasn't had Donkey Kong hasn't had a new game in a while. No, it really hasn't. Trouble with Freeze was the last one. Mm-hmm. But All right. yeah, I DK think this is... stab fits. Probably the get go to for me. I still need to play Tropical Freeze. That game looks really good. Really? You... Oh my god, dude, dude, no joke. Uh, fucking Tropical Freeze on the 8-bit Doe controllers. Ah, oh, there you go. God, <laughs> there you go. I know absolutely nothing about building keyboards, so this will be fun. Okay, here's your first lesson on building keyboards. Don't buy any keyboards from Idobao. Just don't. They're not great. Actually, I think their 75 is fine, but uh, all these problems from are, are because of this board. Here, okay, better way to say it. Don't buy any keyboards that have an integrated plate. Because that just causes problems. At least if I could, like, hold on to the plate, I could carve. I sub because, uh, and I sub because thanks for the 8 bit Pro 2 controller recommendation. It's a good controller. Yeah, it's a very good controller. Like, oh my god, it's like one of the best ones out there, honestly. Like, I was surprised at how good it was. Um, yeah, actually, <laughs> curious. So, so what was the first 8 bit controller, I have to ask? Uh, that I was... used? Yeah, because, like, I... To be honest, I don't remember what... Uh, stemmed me or what stemmed for me getting a Apeto controller? Maybe it was the. I don't remember why I got mine because I got the Pro Plus, the the first Pro controller that I had, and I think um... it, I think it stemmed from I wanted a controller that had uh, a good D pad as well as um, I wanted a layout that I could use for both 2D games and 3D games, and that yeah. Apeto seemed like a good candidate for me. You know, I was wary of the PlayStation layout because I wasn't a huge, I'm not a huge fan of that. So, but I ended up enjoying it a lot when I got my uh, Pro Controller. So, whatever. Okay, no, for me, it's kind of the opposite. I, you know, I kind of, uh, I inadvertently did end up growing up more in the PlayStation cap. Like, mm. no joke. I had the PS2 first before the GameCube, and I mm. ended up switching over to the PS3 uh, after my phone out with the Wii. Yeah. So, oh, this is Midna's Lament. No, that is Diamond. Oh, wait. Well, the last one was. The last one was. But now we're on Midna's well, Lament. Okay. Uh, I got a mate that builds keyboards. He wants me to build one, but I just got a new one mid last year, and it works perfect. Hey, that's fine. You know, keyboards... I, I think building your own keyboard is a very... I, I think this is fun, honestly. Like, I'm enjoying my time with it. But I recognize that it's like Linux. Not everyone wants to deal with it. I'm dealing with it for A for content and B because I'm a masochist. <laughs> At least he admits it. Yeah. But dude, I fucking beat God Hand. Like, come on. Fuck. Have you played God Hand? 
He's oh, gonna no. be Oh man, you gotta play God Hand. That game is so fucking good. That is like one of my favorite games of all time. Fucking full stop, dude. Mm. It's just got the best fucking combat in any game ever. Like, I can't think of a single game that touches the... That even comes close to the amount of perfection in that game's hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. God, I, I will suck God Hand's dick all day, man. That game is so good. I see. But don't buy it. You have to emulate it. Because <laughs> it costs $200 on eBay. Um, okay. Or what system is this? PS2. PS2. It was a very limited release near the end of the PS2's lifespan, so not a whole lot of people got it. Yeah, can't say I've heard of it. Yeah, uh, it's, it was made by the same guys who made um, uh, Okami and Beautiful Joe. Mm. You know those games? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, what was it, Lucky Seven or something? Lucky Clover. Ah, right. Or no, Clover Studios, excuse me. I don't know, I just remember having something to do with, you know, luckiness or... Yeah, yeah, or Clover Studios. Oh my fucking god. I keep losing my screws! Ah, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. Okami is good. Bro, Okami's great. I haven't beat it, but it's pretty good. I beat it so properly good. recently, the final boss kicked my butt more than the other bosses did, Lamo. I mean, that makes sense. You'd want a final boss to kick your ass. <coughs> Unless you're fucking Yakuza Kiwami, and it's like, oh, the final <laughs> boss is a fucking joke. I have my problems with Yakuza Kiwami. In the end, though. There we go. I kicked his butt. Yeah, there you go. Oh, son of a... Hey, watch your fucking language on my stream, okay? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I love, I love, I love making that joke to people. Like, one of, like, my favorite icebreaker joke to when I meet new people is the watch your fucking language. Because people are so, <laughs> lot, because I, because I'm in Texas, right? And yeah. Texans are, like, very, like, straight laced, you know? Like, they don't really swear a whole lot and they like to be proper and everything, ironically. They call BS on that. <laughs> uh, sometimes. When you, when you meet some Texans, um,. I've been in those situations, though, where you where you meet people and they're trying to be, like, nice and proper and everything. That's true. And then someone lets something slip and you go, hey, watch your fucking language. And they just get thrown. Like, if you say it with enough venom in your voice, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. All right. Looks like I'm undoing every single stab and clipping them more. Yay! Yay! Time to die. Stabilizers! Be lucky that I'm not lubing my switches today. Otherwise, I wouldn't... I, I would not finish this. This man's sanity is not stable at this point. I'm really not. Have you seen my channel? Are you, you, are you, are you actually questioning that? Um, I didn't watch your GameCube special video. Why? Because okay. there are many, many good things about it. No, there aren't. <laughs> No, there really aren't. Hmm. I don't like that video anymore. Hang on. Someone's in the house. Mostly Here just be. comes down... Okay. I don't like that video mostly just because it comes down to me being a fucking goober in that whole thing. It sucks. Honestly, the way I saw it, it was just you exercising your editing skills. A little bit. Just a little bit. Being passionate. Eh. I mean, that video won me five grand, so... I don't know. I guess it was good. Oh! Oh shit, was that the video for the Logitech thing? Yep. Oh. That, that was the video I uploaded for the Logitech contest. That's. And that won me second place. Oh! Are we done? Are we finally ready to build a goddamn board? Alright. Because we know. Alright, I think we're good. Mm. 
I don't care if it doesn't fit or not. I'm, I'm calling it the way it is. And you know what? We're not even, we're not even to the big mod that I was going to do for this goddamn thing. Yay. We're not even to the, the, the mod. Oh man, we are two hours in. Yep. Yep. We're about 30 minutes out from being done. Okay. Just give me 30 minutes. So here's one of the other big problems with this board is that it's very hollow, and you will hear that when I play the initial sound test. This board is just, uh, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of space for noise to reverberate throughout the metal case. Um, and what people normally do to remedy that problem is they put foam inside their boards, or they'll like pour silicone inside of them. You know, they'll do a whole bunch of stuff, like noise dampers, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do something kind of like that. The reason why this is a little bit of a challenge for me, and I might retract this later, but uh, this board has underglow because of the acrylic bottom. So it's got lights that, uh, that are like these little white squares right here on the board. I don't know if you can note it. I don't know if you can see LEDs. them. They're LEDs. Yeah, so you can, you can uh, glow and shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I might not care about that in the future. But for now, I want to maintain that. So yeah. uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some clear plastic roll inside of it. And I'm oh. just going to uh, oh. use that to dampen the noise, you know? Oh, I've seen this done before. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. This board will be done within the hour. I guarantee it. I mean, we're an hour in. We'll see what the final to to uh, total is. Yeah, right. I did not expect that many problems because of the fucking stabs. Oh my god. Is it possible because you used cherry stabs? So whatever probably came with. Well, the, the stabs that come with this board are garbage. You don't want to use them. Hmm. So that's why I was so a a averse to using them. At least from what I've heard, I should I should clarify. Um, but yeah, it seems like we are finally we're we're past we're past the point of no return. All right, we finally have a keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost ready. Okay. Uh, where did I put it? Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. I got some clear plastic. Some thick, clear plastic that I'm going to cut down to size and put inside this board. Here we go. Look at how fucking... Like, look at This is some thick fucking plastic. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, bro. All right. All right, here we go. Where are my scissors? I don't think my scissors are gonna work, but it's worth a shot. I will be uh, right back. Let me go grab my scissors. Blade related, that's for sure. Oh, this is a gore yeah. Uh, what is this? This is one thirteen. Yep, Gower Plains Knight. I tried playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles once. I don't think I like that game. Do you at least still have the disc? Oh, yeah. Dude, no joke, I found the disc at a pawn shop. Like, the original Wii release at a yeah. pawn shop for like 10 bucks. No, and did you get it? Yes, of course I fucking bought it. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, maybe I'll post a fucking image. Yeah, go ahead. Oops, sorry, I knocked the camera. Oh, scissors do work. Here we go. Yep, 
Ah, Tablet Tribute. It's one that I've never tested it. You've never played it? No. Wow. I saw it. I was like, fuck. I mean, you saw the Metroid Prime video. I like buying games, not playing them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I... Well, I guess I can test it still. Uh, using the actual Wii. Or, using my Wii U. There you go. But, yeah. Okay. Now... We put this... I can't hear a single word you're saying. Good. Okay. Oh my god. It's plastic, bro. Okay. Okay, I need to cut this down more. Almost ready, chat. Almost. How much you want to bet? Hold on, let me see this. Oh, really? What, nine people are fucking watching this right now? Are you kidding me? Why is it that every time I think a stream is doing poorly, it does well, and every time I think a stream is going to do well, it does poorly? Seems like a lot of work. Yes! You are correct. Images, images. I forget where you put it. post images. Wherever. Just in like memes mm -hmm. or shit posts works. Oh, shit. The Nintendo stream is over here. Another 75 minutes of relaxing Nintendo music. We're close, chat. I can feel it. I can feel it in me bones. Uh, I want to hear some clicky clicky. When do I get to hear it? Soon! Yes, it fits! Okay. You won't hear the clickies. You will hear the tactility. some plastic in there to keep the noise reverberation down. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you got tactile switches? Clickies are better, but I digress. You like clickies, small keeb? Oh my God. A sin, a real sin. Some people I honestly only care about the sound more than the actual feel. I don't... Like, I, I've, I've had my uh, Logitech Blue Switches for way too long, so I'm not a huge fan anymore of the uh, of the clicky variety. Oh, jeez, Jamie, it's going nuts. Clickies are the originals? Oh, damn. What's up, fucker? Welcome to this shithole. Yeah, Jamie <laughs> just mashed the serotonin button. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna cut it down more. Just a, just, a, just a wee bit more. They feel great, very tactile, both audibly and feeling wise. Okay, sure. Here, I will show you what switch I got. You can actually see them over there in the distance. I got uh, I got uh, TTC bluish whites. These are the uh, the switches that I ended up liking the most. Focus. Oh, whatever. Um, I got a little key switch tester a while ago, and so I was testing out a bunch of switches, and the TTC bluish whites were my favorite. 
So that's what I went with. All right. Can't be worse than certain others. I still have PTSD from months ago. Oh my fucking God. Better than a furry server, let's be honest. <laughs> Even away from the furry server, you can't get away from the furries. Yep, yep, that's the sad part. Also, uh, I put myself in the hard tactile gang rise up <clears throat> camp, so, you know, big fan of them, of them tactiles. I like myself some tactile. To be honest, I don't really know what I would even gravitate towards in terms of mechanical keyboards. I mean, you would just need to try, you know? You can never really know what you'll like unless you try it. To be fair, mm -hmm. I haven't really tried a whole lot of the really, really smooth linears, so I don't know if I would like them or not. Um, so, you know, you know how it is. Uh, my plonk is tactile halo clears. Oh, nice. That seems fancy. Halo clears. Just gotta cut more of this plastic off. Here. There we go. Oh shit, what is this? Hold on. 418. Follow Fee from Skyward Sword. I knew I recognized it. This is welcome to the Pav and Musical Gamer quiz each other on Nintendo music. Yeah, let's just. Speaking of, what's what's the name, Musical Gamer? Do you play musical instruments? Yeah, I do. What do you play? Well, in high school, I was a trumpet player. Oh. Pretty much all the way throughout until the senior year where I had to uh, switch over to low brass. Mm, I see. Interesting. Um, I've honestly kind of lost touch for quite a bit because I didn't, you know, have an instrument to, you know, practically use. Mm, shame. Until, until this year, or, well, last year now. Oh, really? Yeah. What are you um, playing now? Well, that's the thing. I, uh... Okay, so I said low brass. So I don't know why I was big. Uh, no, I switched over to euphonium. Hmm. Which, uh, they're heavily uncommon, so it was kind of hard to actually get an instrument. Uh, okay. to... Because I was, uh... Because it does appear that when you, you know, do end up, you know, participating in band with instruments such as, you know, like a euphonium or tuba. Mm -hmm. It's not very easy actually getting, you know, buying some for, you know, home use. I can so, see why, yeah. I love your Twitter big... profile picture. It looks so nice. Oh, thank you. You can go, uh, I, in my, in my, uh, bio, I have the at nope. of, uh, who, who drew that picture. So if you would like to commission her as well, be my fucking guest. That'd be really cool to see. So if you want if you want some some of that good art drawn for yourself, follow Minish May on Twitter.com. She will do the good art for you. Okay. It's a bit of a tight fit, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing, because we don't want that sound to bounce around the inside of the case. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, now we can finally install my TTC bluish whites. Let me move this dirty spaghetti plate out of the way. Oh, okay. Here we go, chat. A keyboard is finally being built. 
Oh, that already sounds so much better. Hold on. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool! Ah, oh, she's almost ready. Two hours and 15 minutes before the first key switch was inserted. All right. Uh. You know what? Shut it. Shut up. It's not a race, okay? We all build our keyboards at different paces. Just gotta make sure I don't bend any of these pins. And building a keyboard is not something you can do quickly. It's something that you need to take your time with to make sure you get right. You know? There we go. Oh, fuck. And Dad, if you want me to build you a keyboard that is nowhere, is not going to be anywhere near as scuffed as this one, let me know and I'll, I'll hook you up with something good and something relatively cheap. I can build you a nice keyboard for like 130 bucks. It'll be made of plastic. It's not going to be made of aluminum or anything. But it'll be really smooth and really good and really uh, clean sounding. And you'll get a knob, you know, if you want a knob. There we go. Okay, finally. We are almost, almost there. This keyboard feels more real than ever before. I have a MIDI keyboard. Yes, you do. Yes, you fucking do. And you use that for your autism streams. With eight, oh, yeah, that's right. You already got all the knobs you ever need. I don't know if you want an extra knob. I, uh, I have in mind a few boards that I would build for people. Because I don't have... Like, I don't think I'd be I'd be getting people with the money to be like, Hey, I want you to build me a fucking key cult. You know, a $2,000 keyboard. It's like, ah, uh, I don't know if you can trust me with all that stuff, bud. Uh, man, I offered to build uh, your, uh, my dad a nice 96 key with an aluminum case, Gateron Greens, and GMK Laser? What?! Oh, GMK Terminal. I have laser on... You have fucking... You have fucking... GMK laser? That's sick. See, I'm not... I don't think I would be a huge fan of the GMK uh, sets. Uh, he's not interested. He's happy with his current keyboards. Hey, that's also valid. Um, I don't think I'd be a huge fan of the GMK sets. Because I just don't like Cherry Profile. Ironically, because I have... I have two sets of GMK laser? Wow. Uh, ironically, the the... Key, the keycap set that I have is Cherry Profile, which, I mean, it's fine, right? But if I were to get another keycap set on my own, I would want to go either SA, ASA, or XDA Profile. Um, I like the looks and sounds of uh, those keycap sets a whole lot more, but I'm going to be very happy when this keyboard is built anyway, because it's going to be like a 3,000% improvement over my fucking Logitech Blue Switches. I have SA Laser? Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. I, I love the SA keycaps, man. Whenever I see a board with SA profile, it just sounds so deep and nice, you know? I'm refraining from using the, the word that all keyboard user, that all keyboard builders use. Because I think that word is dumb. But if you know, you know that word. Uh. Hmm. The problem with SA is that they aren't ideal for flat boards. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right? And if I was going to go with anything, flat plates, I would go with uh, ASA, which is a uniform profile, but still keeps the large SA-type keycaps, you know? If slash when you build an ortholinear, I can sell those SA lasers to you. I'll, I might take you up on that. We'll see. W what'd you say, Musical Gamer? Oh, hi, Derek. Hmm. A little bit to say. Hmm. Aquatic ambience. I'm guessing from Tropical Freeze. Or, er, uh, no. Eleven. Returns, in particular. Uh, current capers, tropical freeze. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Uh, when I say ortholinear, because I only got ortholinear kit with it. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Because I do want to get that prionic. That prionic looks real nice. But if I was going to get an, uh, an ortho board, I'd want to go with a uniform keycap set, so I'd want to go with either XDA or uh, ASA profile. Because SAs look nice, right? SAs look and sound really nice. But, uh, 
For ortho, I feel like it would be it'd be appropriate to go with a uniform layout. You know what I'm saying? Ah, shit. There we go. Ah, oh, man. It's it's finally done. We have crossed the hurdles of the stabs. True, but man, still. it really is coming together, mate. Yeah, it was just the stabs. It's all, it's all coming together. It'd be funny if you had not enough of those blues. I bought 90 switches. This keyboard has 87 spots, so I would not. You could always angle it, Lamau. Hey, that's fair. Why does this ship Oh my god. Still playing Destiny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm, Destiny player. Linux user. <laughs> Damn, got me there. <laughs> imagine, wanting to keep, imagine wanting to keep your data secure. Imagine wanting privacy above all else. Welcome to the world where privacy doesn't exist. Convenience over privacy. That's awful. I low-key want a Prionic as well, L uh, Lamau. Dude, like, that Prionic looks real nice, dude. Like, that, that, okay. There was also a, um, an, uh, an Arisu layout keyboard that looks really, really nice. Um, the problem with it is that it has an integrated plate as well. So, hmm, who knows if I'd run into the same problems with that board. 2000s is where we gave ourselves away uh, for free. For, it's for firms like Facebook, Twitter, etc. Yep. Yep. Convenience over privacy, baby. So, like, if I was going to do any more builds in the future, it would either be for other people or I want to do something interesting, you know? Like, I would want to, um... I'd want to build, like, an ortholinear board or an Arisu or Alice layout, like one of those ergonomic boards, or, like, a buckling spring board or some Topra switches. Like, I don't know. I, I would want to do a, a keyboard. My, I want my next build to be more interesting than just, oh, it's another TKL, you know? Like, I'd be okay with experimenting with, like, some 60%, maybe a 75%, but, you know. Just having many of the same layout feels like overkill to me, you know what I mean? So I, I'd want my next keyboard to be more interesting. All right. All right. Oh. With three switches to spare. Nope, two switches. Ah, here we go. With three switches to spare, I'll put them aside. And here we go. My EPBT green and off-white cherry profile uh, ABS keycap set. <clears throat> this looked really nice, and when I felt like... I don't know. When I when I I built this board without any mods earlier, like a couple days ago, when I built it, these keycaps felt like softer. If that makes any sense. You need a bright red escape key. I don't, really don't. I really don't. If anything, I was gonna get an artisan keycap and put that as the escape key. Uh, I found this really cool artisan where they make a little GameCube keycap, and I, I want I want a little GameCube keycap as my as my escape key. <laughs> Uh, I have the standard alphas, orthomicons, and mitowave keycaps of the a SA laser set. Oh, nice. Uh, five. Here we go. Okay. It's almost like it's a keyboard now. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm happy the Animal Crossing music came on for this. Ain't something, ain't it? Yeah, right. Oh boy. Let me let me let me hear. Let me hear this these stabs. Ooh. Here. No rattle. No rattle at all. Oh, I'm good at this. Fuck yeah. That was probably really loud. Especially after eating up all the material. Yeah, right? Getting the fit. We'll, we'll get to the keyboard ASMR, don't worry.
Here, once it's all built dead, come upstairs and type on it and give me your uh, give me your feedback on how it feels. Oh! Nice. Uh, is this keyboard made of metal or plastic? This is the ID87V2. It is an aluminum build. It is a, an all aluminum chassis with an acrylic uh, bottom uh, for uh, shine through and everything. I think it has QMK firmware. I need to build fucking, I need to, I need to look into building my own QMK tools. Um, Cause I have Via installed and I, and I tested this board with Via and all the, all the slots worked. So that was good. And I'll bring up Via too. Does the keyboard have that thing that goes up in the back? No, it does not. It does not have adjustable feet. Uh, isn't it better to put the stab keycaps first to test them? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Here, let me let me test the rest of the stabs then. I'll do I'll do some stab tests right now. All right. Oh, and here's another tip. Normally, the space bar goes this way in line with the rest of the board with the rest of the keycap sets. What I like to do is I like to flip my space bar and have it go the other way. So here, the space bar was the one that I had the most problems with. What do you mean by sounding hollow? See, yeah, it's just the it's just the space bar that sounds super hollow. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to re kajigger the plastic. Nah, it's just the space bar. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep doing some testing on that. But all the other stabs feel really nice. Um, I flipped my space bars on my ortholinear. I think we had this conversation, Lamal, probably. Uh, I tried to get the ID87 in the UK, and I just can't find it for anything under 180. Yeah, that's fair. Have you thought about the space bar foam? All right. Skill issue. <laughs> I, uh, I, okay, you know what? I actually might go through with that and put some, put some foam inside the key, uh, inside the space bar, honestly. I think that might help. Uh, we'll see. Cause yeah, I mean, it just sounds. It just sounds hollow. This board just sounds hollow in general, you know, which is a shame. But whatever. Yeah, that sounds like sounds like metal tapping on metal. Yeah, I like it though. Like it's, it's just the space bar that I have a lot of problems with. Which I can I can adjust the space bar later. I love those caps. What are they? These are the EPBT, like, green... I got them on KBD fans. If you look up the EPBT keycaps on uh, KBD fans, you'll find them eventually. Uh, I would care about all that stuff, but I have a really loud clicky switch. <laughs> Not a bug, it's a feature. How do you motherfuckers like clicky switches? Oh my god. Like, how do you... Hold on. Look, how do you... Man. How do you like this? Look, man, give that shit to, like, a child, and they'll be all over it. This is fair. This is fair. I live alone, that's the secret. You know what? Okay, sure. Fine. Fine. I get it. So clicky switches go burr. Honestly, before I decided on the uh, TTC bluish whites, I, uh, I wanted to go with the box jades. And if you know anything about box jades, you know those fuckers are loud. So, uh, you know. Uh, is there a super key? So, uh, there is no super key in this kit. So instead, I just replace the Windows key with the function key. Because I just don't want a Windows key on my board. I, I would, I'd much rather have a super key, but honestly, I think just having a function key is fine. Oh my god, the super key is a, is a Super Nintendo artisan. Oh, that'd be so cool, actually! Oh, fuck, I might go through with that. Uh, don't get the box navy clicks. Those are clicky and very tactile. <laughs> don't get, uh, Bill Gates will spit in your mouth key. Yeah, there you go. I, I wish this, this keycap set came with a super key replacement. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So, we just got a deal. Hmm. I have the Akko Matcha Greens. Oh, okay, now those look, those look interesting, actually. I wanted to get uh, a set of those. The 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 next keycaps that I really want to get are the uh, mint chocolate chip keycaps. Those. Those look and sound 
so interesting. I have jades, and I had knocks on my door multiple times. <laughs> nice. Real, plo real pros use Dvorak. Okay, bud. <laughs> what? Dvorak. Yeah, just imagine using Dvorak. I had a... F okay, so I was talking uh, to a friend of mine about keyboards, and he was talking about someone he knows who... Um, would uh who would brag about his keyboards all the time and he was using an ortho linear with just this wild fucking layout let me see if i can find it maybe it's up in like general somewhere um from The real pro gamer move is getting DSA keycaps to test different keyboard layouts and end up going back to QWERTY. <laughs> I guess that is. I guess that is the true gamer experience. All right. Oh, boy. I actually really, really like these keycaps. Like, they just feel soft, if that makes any sense. You know? Like, the, the Logitech ones have this, like, harsh finish on them. Oh, shit. Zora's Domain. But these ones have like a very nice finish on the top of them and, it, and they just feel nicer to type on, you know? Um, been there, done that, but not with DSA. Oh, there you go. I don't think I could go off of the QWERTY layout, honestly. I think the QWERTY is just too, I'm too used to it. It's too standardized. It, yeah, you know? I don't care if it's more efficient to do, you know, Dvorak or whatever, I don't fucking care. Okay. And there we done. I tried Colmac. Oh, boy. How many fucking keyboard layouts are there? Oh, shit. It comes with an ISO enter. Look at that. I would like to get an ISO board one day. I, I, I like ISO enter. All right. All right. We're going to pause this. Who the fuck? Okay. I'm Brazilian and Colmac doesn't have a uh, carrot. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. All right. Here we go. Mm. All right. Nice. Whoa. Hey, Crash Dude. Thanks for the follow. It's just the space bar, man. Like I might I might actually go through and put some foam in there. Flip it around. Okay. Accidentally took the whole keycap out with it. Oops. All right. Don't think it's going to change anything. It didn't change a single thing. Use the green space bar. Hmm. We'll see. Here. Imagine if this was a solder board. Oh, yeah, right. Oops, I got the switch out as well. Yeah. Right. I think I just need to test out some, like, some plastic stuff. Ah, no, it's too green. Like, it doesn't match with the rest of the board. I have to use this one, because it doesn't match. Maybe I could... Go with, like, an enter and an escape, and the space to be brighter. Oh, too long. Wait, is it? Eh, just spray paint it white. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing, I'm not fucking doing that. 
God damn it. These things really hold on tight. Jeez. Uh, use one of those really firm key switches for space. I mean, I, I'm probably just going to have to put like foam or something inside of it. I do, I do have some some foam laying around, so I'll mess with that later. Honestly. Whoa. Ah, Jesus. Let me... Ah! No, that annoys me. It matches with the skate. Like, I don't... I, I don't I don't like I don't like having the different colors of green on here. It it generally does not look good. No. Get over. All right, all right, I... let me put on the real keycaps. Give me a sec. Here, can you grab my escape key wherever it went? It washed on the floor somewhere. What the fuck? There should be a green keycap. Am I standing on it? Hold on. Where did it go? I, I launched it. it. I don't see what? it. I launched it. Oh, there it is. Where? Oh, okay. All right. Give... Is that an escape? That's like a weirdo character. Yeah. Because we know it's escape. We don't need to have... We don't need to have it labeled what is escape. That? What is that? Cherries? Yeah. Where did I... Uh, where did I put the... Oh, here it is. And then this one. And then this one. All right. Be my guest. Type away. Oh, let me. Uh, uh, Lamau. Okay, type away on it. I have to get. With the wooden wrist rest and everything. I have to get comfortable here. Where's home row? Uh, yeah. Feels I good, doesn't hear, it? I can hear it through my headset. Yeah. But I, I like can it. hear it like clear as day. Good. Oh man, I've been keeping quiet this entire time. <laughs> Hold up, hold that, up, that hold up. Nice. You you are missing home. Like I'm, I'm searching. Oh, you like the little bumps on home. I'm, yeah, my fingers are searching for that. In this keyboard, uh, I'll type it anyway. In this keyboard day is so beautiful. Here, let's bring up monkey type. I just yeah, realized that's your dad. Yes, my dad is here. Let's bring up monkey type. Here. What is monkey type? Oh, it's just it's typing test. Yeah, well, but this isn't even back plugged in. Time for the end of the stream. Nope. Yeah, right. It pretty much is the end of the stream. <laughs> Window cap. Come on. Why, uh... Probably because there's alpha transparency on monkey type. Hmm. It doesn't, at least, uh... On OBS, any Windows yeah. that have alpha transparency, OBS doesn't All right, have to whatever. stream. I expect Linux next time. Yay! Yeah, this is nice. Ah, yep, that is... Is it worth uh, $300? That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, this board... How much, you pay, how much you pay for that keyboard? Well, uh, I was given the case and the keycaps as a Christmas gift. Um... And the switches cost me like 45, 50 bucks. And the wood ri wrist rest. And I bought and I bought the wooden wrist rest too. That. Yeah, oh, I didn't even notice that. That was part of the desk. Nope, it's my wrist rest. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. I don't know why. I assumed that it was something your dad brought in. No, no, this is mine. I have this on my keyboard. I just, I just, I need to mess with. I need to mess around with this space bar. You know that on Amazon there's a giant otter that's an armrest or a wrist rest for a keyboard? <laughs> of course there is. Derek was saying you can get a, uh, a giant otter as a wrist rest for your keyboard. You can have just yeah, a no little thanks. otter. Tell him nothing. He says no. Hey, he can hear you. Oh. I can hear him. Who's there? I can't hear him over the keyboard, but I can hear him. But I can hear him. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll mess around with that space bar. I'll try to get it to work. But you know what? Let me, t let me plug this into Via and let me just make sure this works. Yeah, it'd be funny if it didn't work. Because I made sure it worked earlier. Oh, this is very clicky. Very. I also got to turn down the fucking underglow. Current keyboard is very clicky. And there we go. There she is. Now start typing into the chat. Okay. Type in the first slur you think of. Oh my 
god. <laughs> oh, it's working. Yeah, she works. All right, let's let's open up Via. Let's... Uh, you called her she. What's her name? Uh, Glatilda. All right. Here we go. Uh, don't date your keyboard. <laughs> no, I'll just replace her in a week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. Horrible. Move this up. Okay. Yep. Evil. Evil. My sister's cat. Is evil. Here. Her name is Evie, but we call her Evil. Everything's registered. Yep. Everything's registered. So we're good. She is indeed a keyboard. Use your G word pass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I can. You can. You can do that. All right. Gamer. Here. Let me try to let me try to make monkey type work. It just doesn't want to work. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, if it has alpha transparency. But then why doesn't Here. Let me try. My dinner is a peanut butter sandwich. Lovely. Um I'm, you can see oh. my desktop right now. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be seeing this. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Um, I didn't see look. General chat start page. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to capture Vivaldi at all. That's weird. Huh. Huh. Why doesn't it want to capture Vivaldi? Mm, this is a new capture window. Uh... Yeah, it, it'll it'll capture everything else. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Oh well. Uh, I'm only just gathering that you really like Bob the Cat. <laughs> You're just now gathering that, bud. Man, small keeb. Little, little late little to the late uptake. On the, little late on the uptake there, buddy. <laughs> Imagine using Vivaldi. This comment was sponsored by Firefox Gang. Firefox are getting into cryptocurrency. No, thank you. I just don't want to support that at all. To be fair. <laughs> Yo, all right. What's that mouse? What's this mouse? It's my it's my Corsair scimitar. It's got all the buttons on the side. Uh... I like having the buttons. He left his fucking water bottle up here. Cheers now. NFT gang rise up and lose money. I use Brave these days. Eh, I'm just comfortable with Vivaldi, so that's what oh. I use. Brave of you. Mm. I was recommended Brave on my friends, but for some reason I gravitated to Vivaldi for some reason. I don't remember why. <laughs> hmm. Sweaty confetti. Okay. Okay. Fortune favors the brave. Shut up. Alright. You know what? Here, I'm gonna do a monkey type demo and it's just gonna be... I'm, you're just not gonna be able to see monkey type. Unless right. it just record the screen. I, it won't let me record the screen. I don't know why. Via your camera. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm gonna die. This is so <laughs> bad. Yo, you can see my image that I posted there. What else can I post there? Nothing. Alright, alright. Fuck. I was about to send a gif of Abbott again. Don't send a gif of Abbott. Alright. Alright, here we go. Uh. What a stream. Hell yeah. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. 49 words per minute. I'm not good at typing. Better than anything I could put out. Anyway, I use Brave in Flatpak format. It's its own sandbox away from me. And by the way, Arch Linux install Lamau. There you go. That'll do it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the stream uh, in order. Before I leave, though, let's go right here. Uh, I subbed to the Running Patreon just now. Really? I want. All in this Fucking what? Connect to Discord Amazing. broken? Oh, what do you mean it's broken? Like, are you 
were you able to join the server? Hold on. Let me try to find you. Um, here, let me, I'll post a link there to my YouTube. <laughs> hey, who's that handsome guy right there? Yeah, there you go. I don't know who that handsome guy is. Let's Apparently I unlock a t-shirt. Server settings. We'll talk about, we'll talk about the, we'll talk about all that later. Let me just turn that off. But let's just, let's, I let's just... move, let's move the camera over here. So you can see my autism wall back there behind me. I, I just had a message pop up saying I unlocked a t-shirt. So. You unlocked a t-shirt? Okay. Yeah. A router older than a lot of Gen Zers, Lamau. Here, let me turn off streamer mode. Imagine using a router. Audit log. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for some reason you weren't able to join. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead. I was meant to join the server before connecting. Oh, weird. Wacky, wacky. Um, we'll figure it out. Here, uh, Derek, do you still got that invite link? Uh, I can grab it. Here. What go if I invite them to a different server? <laughs> Just invite them to this. Just throw the Discord link in the in chat. It's fine. So there's a link right. to the YouTube uh in chat there's a link to the discord you'll be able to join and see a bunch of shit get the serotonin button now if you're not careful we might ban you yes uh, we might we might just ban you oh there goes derek anyway um thank you to everybody who's been who stayed for this whole fucking mess of a stream because it really was a mess. i love it ah jesus it's just dad just <laughs> gifting fucking uh, subs to people. Okay, thank you. I guess that's genuinely amazing. Oh yeah, all all of my notifications, uh, all the notification noises I have are voice lines from God Hand. So there you go. There's another bit of lore for the server: is that every single uh, notification sound is that of God Hand. Anyway. Uh, 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 well, I'll I'll drop. Oh, GZ9. There we go. There we go. Oop. Here. Rolls. Here, let me, let me double check. Is that you, Alex? One new patron. Whoop. I'm going to turn. Just relinked. It works. All right, cool. I'm going to turn the camera away from my screen right now because there's personal information on this page. Yeah, you don't want that, do don't you? Don't want that. Don't want that. All right, there you go. You, you got your thing. Let me give you baby lad and notifications. And there we go. Well, thank you for joining the Patreon. Uh, it was very nice of you. Um, and yes. Let me see these notifications real quick. Yep. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you for becoming a patron. That really does mean a whole lot to me. Anyway, um, so many programs uh, that I just you can hear that. Anyway, uh, I am going to um, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream because I am tired. If you want to see more of this garbage related to Linux and or gaming, you know, the, the YouTube channel exists. There's a link down below. Um, Patreon exists. You can find links to that all over YouTube. Uh, you're, are you going to enjoy the new key and use the terminal? Oh, you know what? Fine. Here, let's do this then. Let's uh, put this over here. Oh, and then we'll just close this because, fuck, we don't need it anymore. Um, oh, my dad has a book for me. Here, hang on. Ooh. Ooh. I have a book for you. Yeah? You can lose it. What, for Vim? You gave me this book. I didn't give you. This is my copy. Oh, okay. You gave me <laughs> You gave me the book for Gimp. Yeah, he gave me a Vim book. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> but anyway, I will, I will break in this new keyboard by also doing NeoFetch. There you go. And now you get to see my whole fucking setup. 
Imagine not using Vim Lamau. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. I've been going for like three hours at this point. Keyboard's here. Serotonin button is available on the Discord. Uh, used to be the hard. Uh, used to be a hardcore Emacs user. Oh Jesus Christ! Wow. Emacs. But all right. That's something. That's something else. All right. Thanks again for joining me for this garbage. Have a good night, everybody. I'm gonna go collapse in my bed. <laughs>